Yeah. And my, is it quite a journey? It, <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey. We come to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, to. You let us in. Yeah. What happened in that room? When he comes out of the room and he's like, oh, the RV's in pieces. Oh, well, yeah. guess we're flying. <laughs> he's like, why do you look so pale? I don't, nothing happened in there. I don't get, the, I don't get in the sun much. It's funny, for sure. Maybe now you time, <laughs> you stop beeping the, the horn. The, the first, <laughs> my <laughs> appetite is different now, so like I, yeah. I get full faster. So sure. like I did not. Oh, me too, I but I guess what? I just so But it was the burrito, <laughs> it's like because you can get. Soft taco. <laughs> Number five, Rambo. Which one? The the new release. Oh, the, oh it was him with he was, yeah. It was just the back of the truck. Just making soup. Cause that's what it was. Yeah. Human soup. Human yeah. soup. Lots of cherry pie out there. Speaking so of shark week, oh my god. <laughs> Number four. Because <laughs> now it makes me wonder that how many were left just alive. Like ah ah, medic. Just... <laughs> no one I have a alive. casualty. Uh, okay. I have a casualty. It's like, she... <laughs> don't be too loud. He's going to finish us off. But then there's still a casualty. And remember, casualties don't it's mean It's crazy. Death. I yeah. know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm a casualty of war, war. but I'm alive. I yeah, you can't. Word. That sounds like stolen death valor. The lion humping the other lion. Yeah. And he's like, I got next. I can go. I was injured. He's like, five, four, three, two, and I'm talking. one. And I'm talking now. now. Push the button. <laughs> <laughs>
Like if that all. stuff bothers you, it kind of reminds me of like Trailer Park Boys, yeah. where it's like no matter what they do, they're always going to go wrong, and they're always <laughs> back in jail at the end of the season. I feel like she it, she is biting yeah. that tongue. I don't like that when everything <laughs> goes wrong like that. Wally and I have talked about that before. It's that like, second hand cringe. Like that, like yeah. where like things are constantly going wrong, or people are so like awkward that you feel that you feel like, too uncomfortable awkward. while you're watching them. So that let me just enter this. So I like this kind, but you know what I couldn't watch was what's that Lemony Snicket? Lemony Snicket's the the series ter- of unfortunate events. I tried to watch it and I was like, I can't. They're con- I was like, these kids, like these kids can't catch a break, and it was stressing me out. Where I was like, this guy's trying to constantly kill them. That's, I get. Like, well, and I was like, I'm yeah, done here. Like, yeah. I can't. Sometimes I get like annoyed, like I'm watching yeah. like shows, more specifically shows, because they go on longer. Right. So like, there's obviously going to be more of like running, like like Ozarks. Mm-hmm. Carrick and I watched the Ozarks for. I think, th- what is there, four seasons? Four seasons I, I think, think we watched the first two, and then we started the third one, and we were like, oh, no, someone almost found out that they're right. a drug. Like, we were just <laughs> right. like, oh, my goodness. Too much. And the Blacklist, we got re- we were really into the Blacklist for a couple seasons, and then we we stopped because we it was the same thing. It was like, she's the worst FBI and agent right. in the world that she has to constantly keep being rescued by this criminal. Like, fire her. She change, doesn't change do her up, job yeah. well. That's that's the thing. Like about it was like constant issues. Some shows it's like, yeah, the formula works, right? But you have to change it up or it's going to get stale. Think of uh, House, for instance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same. first 3 seasons it was the same formula, then they realized like, wait a second. Okay, this is good, but we got to kind of branch Especially out. And then they changed it up and it was more story focused on the characters and everything and then it kind of went off the rails. Yeah. But I mean I mean it's the same same thing like I like I love Grey's Anatomy, but I it's on like season like 21, 22 or something. Uh, I stopped watching. Whew. No, 35. it's it's I think they just finished <laughs> 21. Jesus Christ. Or 20, they just finished 21 or 22. Here's I something stopped to think watching about. and yes, I did go this far cuz I pushed myself to do oh, it. No. I stopped I watching after push in my season 16. Into my eyes. While I'm watching that show. Yes. I stopped watching in season 16. But I kept watching because of the characters. Sure. But there were always so like it's just started mm-hmm. being yeah. like what other medical mystery can we come up with? Or what other, like, you know, yeah, but no, don't, so don't tell them yeah, we right. did this, or don't tell them we did, like, it, and it just keeps, and so it's less shows more at shouldn't that have longer than 10 seasons, I feel like. You start running out of shit. Right. Like, that's why, like, like you remember Sons of Anarchy? When when they kidnapped Jax's son, they're going to Alan. I was like, okay, that's it. I was like, they got a baby. They got never, a baby, and they're taking him out of the country. Never watched it. Uh, you, you don't. I, mean, I don't want to. The first couple seasons are good. I'm sure it was good. But then after that, I stopped. I was yeah. like, what are we doing here? I same, like, like, same with The Walking Dead when I got to the, the tiger. I was like, we're a tiger? What are, what are we doing I was like, here? a tiger. We're done here. But and I'm, I'm okay, I even, that even, like, even with shows like New Girl, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, like the sitcom-y ones, like, I love they ended Nine-Nine. when they needed to end it. Like, nine? like some, yeah. some You're run, going to run out either. The cast of some of these shows have even said it best after the shows have been filmed. Like, the friend, the cast of Friends have said, if we were to have kept going or if we were to do a reboot, you'd have to undo some of the things that you did right. to stir up more issues. And, like, right, right. that's not... Well, I'm that's gonna, not fun for anybody. As, that's not plausible. As life always does, it comes back to Seinfeld. And Jerry Seinfeld ended that show because that exact thing. Look, I'm going out on top because what else can we do with and these characters? Ships Creek, same thing. They said, right? listen, we, before the show even started winning... All of its Oscars and all of its awards and stuff. Yep. We had decided, predetermined, mm. season six was going to be our last season, and we decided how we wanted everyone to end. Right. In in we're most not going to keep going just because of six of the six yeah, because yeah. it's what we decided. Right. And in most parts, that's good that you have a set goal. This is what we're doing, and this is how we're going to get there. But in other uh, places, like How I Met Your Mother. Where they're like, this is the plan all along, but we didn't know how we were going to get there. Yeah, yeah and so and then, then it's like, like mm, and then you get there and you're like, what the fuck is this? I I agree because I loved the body of that show so much, damn and then Robin. by the end, God damn it, Robin. I was like, really, really, fucking this is, how, this is how we're ending this, right? Because to be completely honest to you, I loved Barney and Robin. I thought that was actually a creative I just liked match. Ted's actual wife. I thought it was a creative match, and I, and I was like, really though. All of that shit they went through. Oh, yeah. And they have an entire last season devoted to a wedding weekend for two people who, yeah. in the last episode, break up. Spoilers. In fucking, it doesn't matter but. at this point. Be mad. Don't even watch the last season. But break up in like tw- 10 minutes into that episode after this whole season was about them oh, getting yeah, married. Oh, yeah, we decided to get it. Like they were together, what, three years or something it was? I and don't even fucking know. I think but, it was three years because they had already had, Ted already had one kid. Right. Here's, here's, so. here's. 
people will sit here and be like, well, that, that was the point of the show was that, you know, Ted's always going to pine after Robin. Right, and then the mom dies. Which is great. Whatever. Let's just insult the memory of his wife. Like, he always loved Robin through that whole Here's time. Here's my, my issue is they have one episode, clearly de- that's the whole episode, about Robin finding something new and something old for Barney. And her and Ted have a fucking conversation in the park about how we aren't, we shouldn't be together, me and Barney are what's going to happen, and this is how life should be. And that's where it ends. Okay, cool. And then you revise that two, three episodes later, and like now they're here's the fucking French horn. Fuck you. I will say though, when Man. he that episode where he Sorry. got the entire French, I was mad about the it. entire See, blue there's a, there's a how much mother's channel blue <laughs> instrument orchestra a quartet or mm-hmm. whatever in her apartment. Yeah, God, come on, Ted. Oh, so Mos- be such a fool. Also, it's all so her good, dogs though. just disappear one season. You don't just get rid of all your dogs. Yeah, four, First of all, four or five. the fact that he made her give up her living things just because they some of them came from exes is not the same as him <sighs> not wearing a sweater all the time that his ex got him. Exactly. Those are dogs. Though Those I agree, living human beings. I agree. Six dogs or whatever it was shouldn't Mine be living left. in a tiny yeah, apartment. In apartment. Yeah. yeah. But you don't just. Oh, I'm okay with never seeing my dogs. Cool. 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 No. Where they live, they all live on the, the farm with her aunt and her close friend that she sure. lives with. And she's like, oh. Ridiculous. Anyways, back to what we're here to talk about. Strange Wilderness. Oh, yeah. The plot of said movie. It's quite strange. Is there, is there a plot? Yeah. Do you want to read it? Yeah, there, I can read it. I was going to say, I can give you mine. You can see that, right? The plot. With ratings dropping for a wilderness-themed television show, Two animal fans <laughs> go to the Andes, Andy Mountains, in search of Bigfoot. What a what a plot! Yeah, and my is it quite a journey? It, <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey. We come to Mexico. <laughs> to, to... You let us in, yeah. What happened in that room? When he comes out of the room, and he's like, "Oh, the RVs in pieces." Oh well, guess yeah. we're flying. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Why do you look so pale?" I don't. Nothing happened in there. I don't get. The, I don't get in the sun much. It's funny, for sure. Maybe now you time. <laughs> you stop beeping the, the horn. The, the first... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I forgot so, about that part. I was too. I was like crying. I With... was like, oh, I was like, that's like this. I also completely forgot about that dude's balls. Oh, yeah. Like his dick, it's, when he like pulls his pants, I was like. And it's like, mm. this way. Yes. And they're just like, oh. oh. <laughs> also. I think I'm ready for bed. I, <laughs> you know, I just, you know. Did they hire him for like. An afternoon, right? I had to. In like, okay, so in in reality or in the movie sense, they hire this guy. They give him money to go and do this thing, and he just goes, "I'm just going to take their shit and leave." Right. Okay. You think they pay? You think he got paid to do it? You think he was like there for something else, and they were like, "You want to come?" Like, and he's like, "Oh yeah, that's hilarious. I'll do right. that." Maybe I don't know. It's just it's a weird thing because it also the- made no sense that the girl was just like, "Oh yeah, I went with him and I tricked him." Yeah. Oh, yeah. I took one for the team, and they're all like, uh, we got maps. I have a map. Yeah. I also have a map. Oh, you guys. No. Uh, I also yeah, sexual harassment. It's so stupid. <laughs> she didn't actually say what she did. She no, just said she, she took didn't. one for the team. That could mean anything. Yeah. Obviously, in this movie's context, we know I what that means. my sack up out the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled it up. <laughs> uh, stitched it back yes. together. Oh. Oof. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Where to watch this, you can rent it on Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, Apple TV, and Fandango at home uh, for like five ninety nine each, it looked like. Yeah, this is one of those movies. Remember we were talking before about the rare older ones. movies yeah. that like not many people watch? They're, Our cold they're was like expensive. five ninety nine when I bought it, I think. Right, because no one's watching it or Amazon, renting it. Amazon, it was so. like three sixty nine or something. Hmm. Plex. When I looked, but it was on Plex. So I didn't Free. Know. Well, we got to talk about a movie. Oh, no. How, Twisters. I need the new joint. If I, I can get a cam version of it, but... <sighs> Yeah, I'll wait. I haven't checked today. I need to I actually want to go see it in theaters because I want the. Did effect. you see the the five D one you could go see where they're shooting water at you and what? shit watching what? it? Is it yeah. that? Is that not four D? I thought that was the same as four D. Four D is when you're moving. Yeah. Five D is now there's fucking weather effects well, and shit. When you, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you go on a four they're throwing a cows 4D at you ride. And shit. Uh, in Disney, yes, I agree with it you. It smells is yeah. and air and stuff like so. I think I just assumed that was this all forty. It's cheap. I got a great story, and it's five, about five more than four. <laughs> it, right, it's more. It's more expensive. Yeah, you got to pay more for that. Okay, it is. Oh, so real, real fast. I'm sorry. Nope, we had the. I got it. 
the extreme seat. We did the extreme seat the for Deadpool, and yeah. my speaker was the rattly one. It was like me. Did was you like, go? Did you RCX? go? Yeah, back here. Yeah. Sorry. The whole theater does it. Yeah. yeah I was that's, like, why, that's why I don't. <laughs> that's why we went. We saw one that way, and you could hear all the rattling, yeah. and it just drove me nuts. So we just don't do it anymore. Yeah, we'll do it again. Go yeah. ahead. Not at our theater, at least. <laughs> so coming off that, the thing that's underneath that seat mm -hmm. is on my oh nice racing simulator. So. Same, same. It doesn't rattle. Well, I mean, it rattles, but you don't hear the. Yeah, it you feel mm, the. Yeah, yeah. Bad. It's pretty badass. My original story. I need to spend some time in that seat. That's I mean, you can't. Just say no. If you want. Say no. it's fine. You need that one this is how I'm paying the rent. <laughs> <laughs> so, have, you, have you seen that Shane Gillis clip? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, oh, by the way, they did another Kill Tony episode yes, uh, with Trump and Biden, and it's coming out. Yeah. Not tonight, I don't think, but it's yeah. when they did Rogan Madison Square Rogan Garden. was there. Yeah. Yeah. They look fucking hilarious. What's his name? Long, long white hair. Ron White. Ron White. Yeah, Cam Patterson. All of them. God damn. Ron White. It's going to be great. It looks really good. They he does. call me tater, tater salad. Well, I haven't seen That joke's like that. 20 yeah. years old. I think it's more than that. Yeah, for real. Anyway, it's my the same the drunk story. in public one, right? Yes. Same stand up. I, don't I was drunk in a bar. Yes. They yes. threw yeah. me into public. It is. <laughs> <laughs> public. My actual story that I was going to say yeah, is go. going <laughs> off of smells in a or or 4D type ride. So my first experience in one of these rides was at Disneyland, mm -hmm. okay, in Florida, and it was this World. ride, Disney World. You're right. Called Alien it Encounter. It does. It They're does very matter. different. Oh, yeah. Alien California. Encounter. Yeah. They're very different. It was only open for a couple years, and if you guys or anyone listening want to look into it, the story around this thing is wild. Basically, uh, the guy Michael, uh, I can't remember. Kine. Not Michael Kine. <laughs> Michael. Uh, the guy, the head of Disney at the time, his son was like really Disney. into. He was like a, a tween kind of kid, right? <laughs> no, Walt Michael Jr. Michael Eisner. Michael, <laughs> Michael Eisner, that's who it was. Okay. Um, his son was like, you know, growing out of being a, a young kid, but he wasn't a, you know, adult yet. And he was into like some kind of, you know, so different like kind of shit. Teeny right. Teeny. So they're like, we need to make something for these type people. You right? It was a high pitched feeling in my ear. Get that checked out. So, anyways, they make this this Maybe ride. It headphones. <laughs> Maybe it's called Alien Encounter, right? And yeah. As a young child getting in this ride, you sit around this giant yeah, like yeah. I was there. tube. Have you seen it? Have you been on it? How? When? What? Like how old? Like when ninety was this? six yeah, I was, I was to like two thousand. I was ten maybe. years old. Yeah. I I only went to Disneyland after I was like out of high school. Okay. I, can, I can't remember. I'm remembering it all. Or right Disney now. World. It's the only so time it I've changed been, into the Lilo and Stitch ride. Right. Yeah. I, so oh, that's, same, I went on that. Yeah. So, so I went on was, that. It was literally the same room, the same thing, and it's kind of the same idea. I don't know why. <laughs> where they're like bringing Lilo or whoever in from another world. Yes. Stitch. Stitch. Lilo's the girl. Stitch is the. Come on. What? Fuck. Sorry, Come on, man. That's the only like Disney Come movie on, in that that era that I've never oh, watched. Well, well now they're doing a live action. Do you see that announcement? I will there, say I've Stitch looks great. Like okay. they showed Stitch sure. and he looks great, but no one wanted that, I don't think. No, no. no, no. Anyway, so this ride is f the the reason why this ride is crazy is because yeah, yeah. think good. of like Alien like the movie where it's like oh. for Yeah. It's Adults. like a rated R whatever yeah. thing. Okay. So you sit around in this giant theater that's all around a circle of Just this circle. thing in the middle. Yeah. And it's like, "Hey, we're trying to get this whatever guy and it was originally played by uh the guy from Small Soldiers uh uh Hartman, Phil Hartman. He was originally in oh, this okay. ride, and they ended up recasting whatever because you know he got killed. By his, uh, wife. <laughs> his wife. Yeah, his wife killed him. Wild. Anyway, what so what did he do? Nothing. You don't know. Don't. She could have went crazy, or yeah, you know. Don't just say nothing. You don't healthy. know. Well, I only know the I only know the inside. I never I never heard the ladies. True. We could. We can't. They're both dead. So they try to eighty six. <laughs> they, they, Casualties. They, they try to. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so was there a casual? To, never mind. Go, I almost, I almost touched Anyways, on subject. Yep. Something bad happens, and instead of bringing this alien that they're trying to get in from one it planet, it goes to a different planet, and oh. they bring this like really big, like fierce, like I'm gonna kill you yeah, alien. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, it breaks out of this yeah, giant tube that it's breaks. in, and all the lights go out. Okay? So, so essentially, that is all the same as Stitch, though. Like yes. the glass does break, and he escapes from the thing. But, but it's a he 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 like no, like, it's a <laughs> this a breathing this, it's a breathing it's not, down your neck. Okay, hold you on. Can, Before yeah. this is why I want to get to the five yeah, yeah, D yeah. whatever. Yeah, so it. the seats you there do, you do it. at that time when you sat down, they sat on your shoulders. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh -huh. It's crazy so, they just revamped this. I can't believe that this is the same bullshit. Yeah. It's just different. Go. They just yeah. went, sorry. Uh -huh, it's funny. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you haven't done this. You guys haven't done this. No. The we did that. We did, we're, we're OGs. So, yeah, yeah I've done the, oh, yeah. the tube is still in the middle. We every, all of that. We, we, oh, I pissed okay, them. Go. <laughs> So the part that's not in the stitch ride is during the part where it gets out, all the lights go out, and then there's people up above in the rafters looking for it. And there's lights flashing and looking whatever, and I some dude gets think that eaten. Is in, not the eaten part, but the lights And then do go their out blood and falls on you. No. Yeah. Yeah. So like but, you're but it's a do it to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. It's right? not just one spot. They, you're all involved. So they're sprinkling Which water on you, right? Like water droplets. How much blood does it have? I mean, everyone's in the same ride. Right? I, don't, I don't know if you know. There's a lot of blood in there. There is. What I'm, and it just equally distributed. Well, if it gets missed, atop, if you get ripped to fucking shit by an alien, yeah, turn to a. It's just ripping you everywhere. Cherry pie on the <laughs> fucking wall behind <laughs> it. <laughs> so, anyways, you're sitting there and the blood's dripping on you, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on?" All of a sudden, the alien starts walking behind you and breathing on your neck. Mm -hmm. And then That's it, when I lost it. I was and, like, then it, and then it grabs you by the shoulders and it starts like doing this and pushing down on yeah. your shoulders and shit. And you're hearing this in in because there's speakers in the things mm -hmm. and everything, dude. I couldn't get out of the seat because you're locked in. Yeah. I wanted to leave so bad. There should have been like a a warning. warning? Yes, I think there was, and it was like, hey, this is not for like twelve. For That's like the yeah. same as the bugs life. Have you been on that? The new one where like there's bugs that run across the seat, like under your butt, and like so people not, jump and scream. Not the bugs life one, but I did. We did the honey. I shrunk the kids one, which is also a 4D. And they have the air under your seats where, like, like when psh, yeah. when they let out, like, my, it's 3D, well, you know, the mice are 3D, but when the mice come out, they let air go, and it feels mm, like mice yeah, are running yeah. across yeah. your feet. And yes. if you've got flip-flops or something on, because mm. I did, and I felt it, and I was like, oh, goodness, weird. That's but I was, that, like, 19, yeah. so it's not yeah. like it freaked me out, but I was like, oh, my. So they revamped that, like, four different times because it, when it first came out, it wasn't as, it was kind of goofy, but then it was, like, super scary. Right. Then they revamped it to be all scary. Then they went, oh, shit, it's too scary. Pull yeah. back, and then they pull revamped back. it, and then it was just, like, nobody was going to it because it, it was in, um, where's Space Mountain at? Uh, Epcot. Yes. Disney. No, no. But which Magic Kingdom. Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. So then there's a tomorrow Epcot. there's tomorrow land. You said or something? Epcot. You said Epcot. You didn't say you, Epcot. You fucking said Epcot. <laughs> I said on, Disney. <laughs> I said Disney. Sure. Yeah, so no shit. <laughs> wherever like, I was more right than you. Well, the problem was where it was, it was in a spot in the park where like all these little kids' rides were. Mm. So it was in the wrong spot, so then people weren't Which is going why, to then it. They switched it to Lilo and Stitch. Which it's makes in sense. the right location. Yeah. Now I think now it's they like, got a whole area in Epcot for Lilo and Stitch. No, that's wrong. No, no. I think right they, now what it's are like they finished they're, just, they're finishing something right now. I love Epcot. I can't remember. I they would just, go back to Epcot. They just announced the villain land they're going to make. Yeah, I'm excited for that, but it's not until like 2027 or something. Yeah. <laughs> I would go back. I would go back for, for villain we should, land. We should, we should do it. I enjoy that. I actually just booked a trip today to Disney. This guy. And in Florida. Just, just, just booked it. So that's why it's kind of in my mind, I guess. Nice. Oh, good. Uh, the oh. last week of September into oh, October. Too soon. Last year? Next year? This, this year? This year, yeah. yeah that's yeah. quick. That's close, huh? Goodness. What? That's close. I can't go. That's yeah, soon. It's like, I have that's like a month. I have man. cruising week. I can't go. The first week in October, so I can't swing it. Yeah, I we'll can't go. We'll um, um, Cassie's yeah. wedding is that. Last week of September, so I can't go. Well, be, well be right it there. would be the, actually, it's the first week of October. That's not what you yeah, said. You said end week. of September. But it starts Saturday, or the Sunday is September, and Monday is September, and then it goes October. So you're leaving Sunday? Yes. Cassie's wedding is Saturday. Sunday to Sunday? Sunday to Saturday. Sunday because we have a show at Tap House on Saturday, so I got to be back. For oh, the that. following, yeah, we're going to California at Ooh. the end of October. Yes, um, nice. we went to California last June for my one cousin's wedding, and now her sister's getting married, so we're going in October for the other, the other one's wedding. But we did Disneyland last year. I don't think we're gonna do it. That's in California. Again. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it again this year. I mean, I think my cousins will take small, their too kids. Small. Is it? It's it's. It's fine, mm -hmm. and I think if you have small children, but we the had a big group of us, and like most of the time, burn, huh? most of the time we were all separate. Like we just all went in different directions mm -hmm. because it was just too much for yeah. a big group to try to do, and so oh, no thanks. Smart. Like, no, okay. but I would a hundred percent go back to Epcot. <laughs> so I yeah. would go back to Florida to do Disney World just to do Epcot too. Have you done Universal in California? Yeah, I've done Universal in both places. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm going. Doing everything. Well, I'm do so we like to do Halloween Horror Night, so that's what we're really oh, going nice, for. Yeah. So. You need to do the, like do the park hopper so you can like go to the different. 
Or no, so you want. the thing that pisses me off about that is I don't want to go to Animal Kingdom because Animal Kingdom fucking sucks. Which is so disappointing because I was super excited for Animal Kingdom when we went because I'm a big animal person and right. it was very lackluster. The yes. Avatar is the only is the only, it's the only cool thing. Yeah. And once you've done it once, you're like, cool. I don't, and I don't, I don't think, think the, the Avatar. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't think the Avatar thing was there when I went, so okay. it, it it's was worth, even more lackluster. Yeah, it's worth going to do that and that yeah. only. But and then all once the you other do it. Exactly. I agree with yeah. you. The though. food like, is kind of dope. Yeah, like, and they, they have good drinks. I, I agree with like, you I, though. I imagine if you to go like for your children. Sure. Yeah. You yeah, can yeah, make yeah, it work. Yeah. yeah I yeah, definitely agree. Like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Universal. What's the? I haven't done Universal since I was a kid because we oh, didn't have enough time. There's another one. Really. I know, but it's like it's it's separate too. It's like its own entity, mm. and like what's the other? Not that far away. Sea World. Not fucking. No, Sea World's not in Park Hopper. It's separate. Oh, sorry, you're talking about that. So you're there's like five. There's four. Well, the five is Typhoon Lagoon. Which is the water park. Okay. Yeah. The water park. So the problem is if you do the three day park hopper, it excludes Magic Kingdom. Ooh, oh. Uh... So you have to do the four day, and that's more expensive than just buying three tickets for separate days. Mm. So I did that instead. Yeah, I think I think Magic Kingdom was the only one we went back, like mm -hmm. we actually hopped to. Like there yeah. was a yeah. day where we closed out the day. Right. Back probably because you went to Animal Kingdom. Yeah, you're like, this bag sucks. Let's was. go back to Magic but Kingdom. But I, I could spend two days at Epcot. I oh, feel yeah, like. Yeah. Well, like, there's so much to do there. There's so, and the even yeah. the rides they have there are just beyond. The like, Ratatouille joints, too. Have you been on that? I've no, seen, but seen we, we did. Mag I was talking to the, the guy. It was yeah. about how it's all magnetic. We did that, that, that like, sky one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We did that sky one yeah. where the seats all line oh, yeah. up and mm -hmm. it's just oh, yeah. around you. Oh, so cool. I like that one. So cool. Soren. Yes. Soren. Yeah, Soren. Yep. It's going to be But I want to drink around. I wasn't old enough to drink around the world. I want to go drink around the world. I was drunk on edibles when we did Soren. I was like, yeah. I was like, I feel it. I want to go. I want to go and do it. I want to drink around the world. Yeah. That's fine. We're going to do that. I mean, I don't think I could. Make it all the way oh, no, around the You're world. You're good. It was a long day. They know what they're doing. They don't give you full fucking glasses. Yeah, but they are strong, though. Yeah, like, good for them. Oh, really... That was my first time I had Pocky. Pool. Oh, make sure you get Ooh, the It was the first time I had Pocky. I got it at, at I'm sure. you know, Japan. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, make sure you get the that. udon. We have an udon noodle dish mm -hmm. from Japan right now. It's awesome. I, but that's another reason why I think you need multiple table. days there. Because you're going to get full, but you want to try things. You know what I mean? You're going to get full. The way we did it. Just so you like need you said, more hot, hot dumps in the park. What? Yeah, Sunday through Friday, basically, because <laughs> we're flying back Saturday morning. We every time we've went, we've done it to where like every day is already structured. This you time, have to. well, this well, time oh, we're, you're we're gonna be loosey goosey. When we got days that we're going to certain things, like that Wednesday, I had to buy tickets for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yeah, like because some things you have to have. Yeah. But the the tickets for Disney is literally Monday through Friday. Yeah. You can go any day. Covers the whole thing. Yeah, whatever. And then we're gonna do Universal. I mean, I don't need to go. The cool thing about, okay, the cool thing about if you get a ticket to Halloween Horror Nights is it's at the actual Universal Studios right. place where there's also Islands of Adventure, right, which is a separate ticket. But if you buy a Halloween Horror Nights ticket, you get into that park oh. so you can go do whatever you want after 5 o'clock. Well, so all those rides are still running, but everyone's going to the houses now. Yeah. So the lines for those, nobody's Shorter. there. Exactly. Nice. So I also got the Fast Pass because we learned last time we went to Halloween oh, Horror Nights yeah. Bro, you want to sit in a line for four hours? Yeah. Whew. It's That's not crazy. good. The fast pass shit is madness. Yeah, so we, I mean, it, the fast pass is more than the actual ticket, but it's fucking worth it. Yeah. Well, so, for sure, yeah. 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 And it, the fast pass gives me fast pass to all the rides inside Universal too that night. Fast so pass. I almost yeah. feel like the fast pass, like it, at places like Kings of Minions stuff, is almost becoming less worth it because I feel like sometimes the lines in the fast pass are just as long. Yeah. Because more people are getting them. I haven't been in Kings of Minion. In a while, like ten I guess years. A couple. I, I, we so Not good. ten years. I don't know. Carrick's previous company, they would they would do like a Kings Dominion day, like where they'd rent out the park. Mm. And so we went for How a couple fucking years. Expensive is that? Well, it's a big. It's one of the bigger contractors. Okay. So like, and they have play. They have in my people my that tax live, dollars are spending on this. Okay. But they have the the plus side for them is they have people like in Virginia, in like Pennsylvania, like so like in. Other Everyone companies, comes there. other companies, when they do it, you're sharing the park with other companies yeah, as well. Yeah, like yeah. His, this, because his current company does it as well. But there are other companies also having their company yep. day there. It's not like just you. But I think the last, I think that's the last time I went. Collect the set on uh, <laughs> www.thedecisionreal.com. I think the last Buono time I went, bowls. it was two years ago, and it was for that. I think it was his work thing. And was then before okay? that, we went for we did like October to do like the fright fest and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. You need to do, do that. Yeah, I want to go back to um, Bush Gardens here soon. I don't know because they there just... are new rides though at Kings Dominion in the last couple of years. And I'd like to try some of them, but 
Speaking of rides, Strange Wilderness yeah, is a ride. Yeah, we don't really care about this movie, do we? We'd rather uh, talk about Disney. <laughs> it's really okay. I mean, I know I like it, so I'm okay. I, know, I like it. I know. I, I like had a good time. I, I had a good time. So how about you this? said you that. You said, yeah. You did a good job? Yeah. job? <laughs> this, is I, by, this is written by Peter Galky and Fred Galky. Wolf. Directed oh, by Fred Wolf. Wolf. You should know Fred we Wolf. We know Fred Wolf. Yeah, he's done a lot of the Happy Madison productions, mm-hmm. a lot of those movies. Uh, he's actually the guy that gives the middle finger to Adam Sandler and Billy Madison. It's not not Billy Madison. Uh, Big Daddy. Why did I say Billy Madison? I don't know. Because hmm. he said Happy there. Madison. Yeah, you're probably right. Look at that. Look at that. This movie is rated R for nonstop language, drug use, crude, and sexual can humor. Can you do the one eye too? Oh, the one eye cross. Is that no, what you did? I can only... Oh, it looked like you did the. I one just one. do it very subtly, so it's not that. Ah. Dude, no, that's okay. see, that's funny. <laughs> See that? Can you only do <laughs> one eye? Yeah, she just did. It's like no, bang. but I mean, just that eye. You can only do. You can't do the other eye the same way. Yeah, okay. That's weird. It's easier with the Does one, but hurt? I can do. It's both. easier. No, I, I get like it's like it feels weird. Then when I when they go back to normal, it mm. has to like focus a little bit. But I have, I I have nightmares on my eyes getting stuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like oh no, <laughs> oh I fucked up this time. It's real. Yeah, they're just stuck that way. Isn't that how you get lazy eye? <laughs> you start doing that, and then the one just starts drifting. The girl, the people in line that can make them go Ugh. the other though, that's, that's fucking like crazy. Rabbits. <laughs> I cannot do. I, I don't think I can do that. Literally rabbits, he said. That's great. Strange Wilderness is starring Steve Zahn as Peter Galky. He looks so young in this. I feel Alan like he looks like a different person. Covert is Fred Wolf. Steve, did you hear what I just said? Right, Albert Covert as Fred Wolf. You heard what I said. Who directed this and, and wrote this movie? Peter Galky and Fred Wolf. Mm-hmm. Steve Zahn is Peter Galky mm-hmm. and Alan Covert is Fred Wolf. Oh, yeah. I noticed when you said it before that because they called him Galky at one point. Like they just were calling him. Fred was, the, Fred was the sound guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he's the director. Weird. Interesting. Weird. Is this a movie about themselves? Side Did they find guys. Bigfoot? And it was like, he, he hung himself. The killer? He hung himself. We can't say. <laughs> You can't say K I L L E D on YouTube. No, but I like that you said hunged. Yeah. Because he's hunged. <laughs> Jonah Hill is Lynn. Kevin Heffernan is Whittaker. Or Whittaker. Whit- Whittaker? Whittaker? Sure. I don't fucking. Ashley Whittaker? Scott is Cheryl. Peter Dante Ashley is Scott. Danny. Harry Hamlin is Sky. Robert Patrick is Gus. Joe Don mm-hmm. Baker is Bill. Justin Long is Junior. Jeff mm-hmm. Garland is Ed. Ernest Borg9 is Milos? Yeah, Milos. Milish, Milish, and John Farley is the Mountain Doctor. Those are people. The whole scene. I forgot about the turkey scene. Gus, <laughs> Gus. Mm, like, oh, you found our, so you found our prize turkey. Oh, no, it's so dumb. Uh, the the part that they show it like <laughs> pulling and it's pulling stretching. It yeah, yeah, yeah. It's didn't terrible. bother. That didn't bother me. That's so funny. Or when he he fucking injects him. He's like, like oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Runtime, 87 minutes. This is a pretty quick movie. It's a short one. For what's... Good for you. Yeah, there you go. She's like, in and out. God damn it. Thank you. In and out. Like the, the rooster. Burger. Oh, yeah. What? what? Mine favorite. went burger, too. Okay. Burger. What burger? Animal style. Yeah, double. Oh, the actual burgers you burger. eat. I was trying to go back to oh, the movie. Burger. Here. <laughs> I'm everything about food. I'm like, yeah, burger. Well, you were too. Oh, in and out. That sounds good. I never had it. Oh, that's good. Release date. I think to them it's like it's fine, but I think when you haven't had it and you have it, you're like, oh. Have you had Shake Shack? Yeah. I still have not had Shake Shack. What do you? It's good. I had a chicken sandwich. Can I tell you a burger. story about Shake Shack? True. Sorry, Emily. I don't think it's all individual though. The one time that I was in line to get Shake Shack, it was at MGM. A, a, no, no, it was at a Taylor Swift concert years ago. It was it was like three tours ago. It was. Was it in DC? A bit. It was at National Stadium, mm. so it was the Shake Shack in there. Mm. But so we were in line at Shake Shack, and and she was like, that's what I want to eat. And I was like, done. I've never been there either. We're in line at Shake Shack. We're literally a couple people from the front of the line. She passes out. And we did? Yeah. Damn, it, like, you didn't... Was she locking her knees? No, she, it, was, it was a hot. It was hot because it, like, ju- it was like July. Don't lock your knees if you're staying in very long. It was like July or something, and it, and, and it was Cuts a hot day. And mm. she, had a, she was like really busy that day, so she had Google said it. that she didn't eat a lot. So yeah. I think the heat and like not eating as much, but then we didn't get Shake Shack. 
That'd be because like, they took I us. Been so fucking mad. They took like, Hold us. Hold on, can we get know, a burger first? I caught yeah. her though. I caught her. Yeah. I saw it happen and I caught her, so she didn't hit the ground. And then the guy behind me, like, kind of how helped. far back were you? Three people. We were right there. Like I, I can like, see the fucking get a thing. Chair. I'd be holding her. I'd be like, Yeah. While she's on the, the ground, can where's you just... the medical tent? Right. Be there in five. Right. Well, we had to she get food. She needs shake shake. She needs sustenance. We obviously had to get food. So after, I think we ended up getting just like chicken tenders from somewhere. No. We couldn't. It was the concert was closer to starting, and I was like, Damn. So she passed out before even. Oh, she Kate. passed out, and she like I'm talking like, she was standing and yeah. just like fully like deflated. She went limp. Yeah. No shake shack. I it's would, the, I, but honestly like I would be mad. Still a very fun night, still really enjoyable. But I, I do would hold that. I do tease her that that like it's the I, shake I haven't had shake shack. Still. What is it? Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Okay. Shake still. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. I haven't had Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Still. Cool. Next yeah. time I see her, I'll be like, man, let's get some Shake Shack. And shake Shack. Shake, and see she, what she does. She, I think, had had it before then. And sure. She's but I just want to see her brain but go. I still Apparently. Have it. Apparently. Mm. Sorry, Em. Hey, I'll drive right now to Shake Shack and eat. That's how good it is. Where okay. is it now? The closest one would <laughs> Where be. Where is it now? Probably, yeah, MGM. <laughs> well, because they're. Yeah, it's not nearby. No. Good thing it's not, because I'd be eating it every fucking day. Good. Do you like a Do you like a nice smash burger, where they're like, you know, the patties are like fuck, fucking. Fl- yeah. Okay. A burger. No, I like a good burger. I, I mean, really so if, if, if you've had not, in, but... if you've had In and Out, it's like that, where they're smashing the patties up and they're thin, mm-hmm. but they're you know good, good meat quality. The buns. They got good buns. They got great buns. Mm, buns. Great. I think buns. they wait. I think great they, record. Great. <laughs> I think they use the Hawaiian, uh, King's Hawaiian. They're like sweeter. Oh, yeah, they're nice. The only thing that sucks at Shake Shack, and I will tell you this, do not Is it the shakes? No, the shakes are really good. They call them concretes. I was waiting for you to go. They don't even have shakes. No, they don't. Because it turns your gut to concrete or liquid and concrete. Uh, Their french fries are not good at all. (gasps) No, that's a a deal breaker for me, to be completely honest with you. Just get two burgers. Yeah, it doesn't come with... You don't get like a meal. Yeah, everything's a la carte. Yeah, you get a burger. You get fries. You get this. You get that. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I got good chicken nuggets too. That was sounded weird. They're Fries like, are so important to me, but it's not. I will literally choose. I agree. I agree where with I you. eat sometimes based on. I the like fries. a good potato. Dude, fries. I will not get Taco Bell unless the fries are in rotation. I didn't even know they offered fries. I've never had French fries. fries. Wait, you haven't had the ch- you haven't had the chicken cantina tacos yet? The nacho, no. Life changing. You need to make a stop, my boy. Mm-hmm. I had Taco Bell you, yesterday. Well, you, good, because you're going to have it today. You're going to have it again. <laughs> oh, no. It was, it was today. Oh, no. It, was today. Oh, no. <laughs> it felt like it was yesterday. How did you not? How? It was today. You, so I never go. Every day I, just I, is... The only time I get it is like when Will, when like Will or Kiki bring it home. But like, Kiki? get. Yeah, his, uh, Kristen. Kiki. Kiki. Get, I call her. Everyone calls her Kiki. Yeah. I call her Keeks. I like it. I like Keeks. Keeks. Sorry, I just wanted to verify. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Get the chicken, get the and tacos. And then thank me. And thank me. This is the peach. The nacho fries are so good. Right, right but you know what? I got the nacho. And I'm just housing You've had the nacho peach. fries, though, yes? Yeah, who has The nacho has fries it? are banging. Am I American? But you know what? Today, when I got the nacho fries, they didn't give me the cheese. Which, they're fine. They're great. Did you great. turn around and fight? No, I door dashed it, so I wasn't there. She, but, like. See that pinky up? I door dashed it the extra $25. Taco Bell. But. I spent $47 Taco Bell day. <laughs> You know what's even crazier is, is you see that, was crazier. You see that was meme? Thanks to Kamala. No, what I was gonna <laughs> what I was gonna say is what's crazier is Taco Bell is less than five minutes from my house. Yeah, so you're what are you doing? I could ride my bike to Taco Bell. Really. Ride your bike? Mm. Your bike. You could have burned off bike. the Taco Bell that hope you were eating. Hope you got a big trunk. And I'm gonna put my bike. <laughs> Ew. But no, what, what, they, what, it was. What did, what did you get? The nacho fries. I got a chicken quesadilla. Yeah, good choice. Um, and I got the grilled cheese burrito. Mm, okay, I've tried that new cheese in there. Both. The cheese yeah, you did. I yeah. didn't eat all of both. Nah, right? come on. No, I really didn't. Damn it. She just went. I eat till Listen, I'm sick. I've explained, <laughs> I've explained to you now. My, I eat till I want to vomit. Just give my, me one more fucking burrito. My appetite is different now, so like I, yeah. I get full faster. So sure. like I did oh, not. Oh, me too. I but I guess what? I just just go, so but it was the burrito. <laughs> it's like because you can get soft taco. But it's because you can get <laughs> fries one there more. now. Just, <laughs> if it'll fit. It's because you can get fries there now, and their fries are so good that I fill up more yeah. on the fries, like and then orange. I can't finish the burrito. I take it back. I did have fries there last time. They're so good. Even they uh, to be good. honest, even without the, the cheese that you did, they weren't in. a nacho one. Uh, they were just oh oh yo. No, yeah. they are. They're not. They had fries. the cheese that you dipped. That in. you did. Yeah, good. But even with even without the cheese, the se- <laughs> they're seasoned so good. Like they're good fries. <laughs> this is they were good. fantastic. I <laughs> used to say I used to say that the downside to Taco Bell was that they didn't have fries. Are you a sauce girl? Like do you do packets? What's your packet? Oh no, not no. Not a Taco Bell. I'm not, I'm not a it depends I on what I eat. Okay. I don't okay. need it. Tacos, so, yes. Yeah. With quesadillas. Yes, tacos, yes. 
Mm. That goes in. If I'm doing a crunch wrap, crunch wrap. I'll every do a little... bite, every bite. Are you? Was that you that I sent you that thing where they made the song out of the out of Taco Bell? Packet? Yes. <laughs> so funny. I am. They almost, made an emo song out of Taco Bell. Packet. I could almost do a packet per bite. Mm. So you should just open up that packet so and then eat. When I was yeah. okay. No oh, shit. I'm already okay. when, when I was. When I was you started, you started laughing. When I was peak fat, perhaps <laughs> I would when go. When I was like at my best, I would go rip. <laughs> yeah, and then take a bite. Hey, only pros do that. Yeah, but I just go. I make the international symbol. I go like this. And they just I'm like all okay, the sauce. Like what sauce do you want? I'm like all of it. And I go like this. And they go. Give me the fucking. And they like jamming. Yeah. We also like we went to high school right near a Taco Bell, mm-hmm. so like a lot of times we'd like leave Stone, Chopped and a lot of people oh, would ta- just go stone. go yeah. to Taco Bell. Dude, I used to. We used to. You know, this is go to Taco Bell this before is how, sports and shit. Um, like is, I used I to go. We used to, I used to leave school Thomas. senior year at eleven thirty because we were I was a degenerate. The, and we would go to fucking. Oh, I thought you were gonna say because you did the the co-op. Like That's what the... I did. Well, no, I didn't even do that. I just took a half day because I I could. Like all, all my classes were done. Yeah, we took done. everything. Do you know, Mike? I didn't need to do a full day, and my my parents made you required it. Yeah, I would. So never... you know what I did? My last three or my so I had lunch like six period. Yeah. My seventh and eighth period were both aid classes. I did guidance oh, yeah, aid yeah. and a teacher's aid, and I was like. Ha. Never. I win. No, I just never. No win. classes passed the last half of the day. <laughs> so we used to go to we used to go to Pizza Hut. Ooh. Four ninety nine buffet. Wait, oh, with yeah, the yeah, Taco yeah. Bell Pizza Hut? No, the, no, the, the pizza, pizza Hut that was buffet. in front of Choo Choo's and the right, skating rink. Yeah, right in front of the skating rink. Oh. Four ninety nine buffet. How do, you think, how do you think Josh got so big when I was, dude? We go there. Every the day? hut, baby. The hut. <laughs> dude, people want to have their birthday parties. At Fuck the pizza hut yeah, shit. red when cups. We were, cups, when we were dude, like in middle school. Thirty two ounce soda. Why am I not in middle school? And you would have six of them. Like, can you buy a red cup? Like oh, I'm that? sure. I'm Pepsi. Because we went. Oh yeah, the red, red like clearish cups. We we went up because I mean, we went to elementary school and middle school together. Yeah. People would have their birthday parties there. Fuck yeah, they would. And the roller skating rink. That was yeah, roller skating rink. Then the fucking. <laughs> but then you you would go roller skating rink, but then they had that little party area oh, off to the we're side. We're fucking doing it. We're buying all the red cups. By the way, uh, you know what I really want? What red cups? And I think we should all go in on, on it together because I, I from what I've seen red they're cups. kind of expensive. I need Neat. a supply of the Fiestata pizzas from Thomas Stone. Yes, Those round Stone. ones that oh, have okay. like the little like the little sausages yeah. and like the. Oh, we, we had, we had to order like an industrial. Size? You have to, because it's 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 in a yeah it's in like a bulk a warehouse. It's like bulk, but you can get look, them. Look, look at the the yeah. texture. But you I can, can get it. them like frozen where yep. they're like because you know what I would do. God, you probably do the same I'm, thing. I'm restocking get my entire house with these. And they were like the like the octagon shape. You remember them? And and you get different colors it. for the different fold days it. of the week. We, different colors it. of cups. You know what I saw today? Someone posted a picture of the cheeseburger in the bag, in the plastic bag. And I was like, we used to eat this. You know what my favorite thing was? Oh, yeah, bro. And because I play, I was doing football senior year, mm. and I had to eat double lunch yeah. every day. Dude, I would have Wait, like. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I would have like two of those burgers. And that's when I learned, that's when I learned like how to be real smart, where you would just take the buns off and just slap the fucking thing and then put a, one bun. I got bamboozled, but you know I, what I mean? by a guy take I had a crush off. on. You have two, take the meat off, put it on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you have a double burger. Yeah. I got bamboozled by a guy I had a crush on a lot of times in my senior year because I would get, or my junior year, because I would get double lunch because he'd be like, I, didn't, I don't have money for lunch. I'd get double lunch and give him Damn. You know, the second lunch. That guy was working it. Already taking advantage. Yeah, I'd have never thought about. I mean, that. we dated after, like after high school, and I boned him for a while. But... Boned him. So I guess you got you him boinked back. her. <laughs> you you boinked her. Boinked her. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I used Christ. to also love. Fiesta I had sex pizza. with a girl. With a girl. <laughs> Fiesta out of pizza day and the spicy chicken patty days oh, yeah. were the two best. Those were the best. Were, were you? Did you ever get weird? And did you get like the 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 like the real food like at the last stall? Remember the last joint would always be like an turkey. An oh, no, no, it'd be like turkey no. and no. carrots and no. But I would get a fucking cosmic brody on yeah, the side well. of a lot of my lunches. Did you guys have to type in your like ID oh, number? Oh yeah. yes, shut up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you my remember your would, ID my number? My mom would give me a check. No, I don't. No, I don't remember mine. That's I remember mine. Really, what's yours? One six zero two one zero. That's a long one. Ours were only That's, four digits. Yeah, no, ours, ours were long. I don't, I don't know, know how I just pulled that out of my ass. That's but crazy. I know. I just remember. Every I do not day. remember yeah, yeah. mine. I, I guarantee they put it in front of me subconsciously. I would you probably just, be like, yeah. Got it. I do not yeah. remember mine at all. I know it's it's not at all what my four digit that I use on anything now is. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because it's because I mean, yeah. different things in my life yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But you I have also no have idea what to it was. wear ID badges. No. No. So we had we kept having bomb threats 
Um, Where were you? In Town. I was going to say, not in Canada, because you don't have those. We there. don't have bombs there, no. <laughs> you don't have shooting. But still, you shot in, shooting, so shopping in Southern Maryland, Leonard Town would get bomb threats. Dude. Of all of hey, Come on, come down there. I'm going to blow but, you but, guys up. No, but Dude, even more so back a, then. It was a lot. I feel like. It was like one every, like, Three or four weeks, and we'd have to go outside. When sit we in the bleachers. were, when, is this real? Yeah, yeah. Dude. You had to go outside. You have to had... go outside. Listen, no, because when... that would, then it seemed the worst place to go. If I'm calling it a bomb threat, what if I'm really a shooter? And now I just got a well, 900 kids outside. Hey, man, start picking them off because there was also a part where during the DC sniper shit. Oh yeah, I remember. Walk oh, we had that too. Walk zigzags. Yeah, fucking serpentine, baby. Um, we had a guy. You'll never that, know. So I don't know if you ever driven past Leonardtown High School. Across the road yes. from it, there is a fast stop. Yep. Everybody used to go there all the day, you know, every day. And the we'd fairgrounds. Get and the fairgrounds, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. But right. somebody said one I time, hey, right. I saw a student take a gun out of their backpack across the street at, at the fast, fast stop. stop. And that shut down the school for like sure. a day sure. past when we were supposed to leave. Bro, when I tell you I had a big burly man in SWAT gear grab my nutsack. It was the scariest day really? of my life. Oh, Excuse yeah. Me? Damn. Yeah. So this was like... Like Frisk and they got everybody? Everybody. Dude. Oh, it was wild. I mean, they we stopped had... everything. <laughs> we were in. The, I was in the media center during that day, which was cool because we were on computers, and we didn't know what was happening. It was yeah. like, hey, everybody stay where you are, whatever's happening. We turn on, like, the computers because we're, you know, whatever. We're in here surfing the net, and it says, fucking active shooter at Leonardtown High School. Oh, and we're like... On. What? What? And then everybody shut the like they pulled the power to the fucking computers because we weren't supposed to know. Oh wow! So and this was right when like one in three kids had a, t a phone and they were able to text their parents yeah, to be yeah. like, "Hey, what the oh, fuck's going no. on?" Yeah. Or because they didn't know either. Like parents didn't know. And dude, it was wild. The fucking SWAT team came in, literally dudes with P90s, like ready to go. I'm talking SWAT gear, riot gear, shields, whatever. And they're like one after another, come here. That's so, wild. at our school, I remember it vividly. Oh. At our school, we would be like, touch. we would be <laughs> like in lunch and find out someone had a gun in their bag like earlier that day. Sure. And but we were still in school. You know, like we were like. No, they like lock each other doors at St. Peter's. They'd be like, "Okay, no one move." They yeah. put construction paper over the. And wall. we would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> because our back, like our yeah. couch, our couch, our classrooms were back to like the woods. Okay. So like so if anything like, happened, someone yeah, yeah, would yeah. see well, someone like a kid would be like, "Why is there a person there?" Right. No, nope, like, they would it. like, yeah, like they would shut. We every... also we were at um, there was a uh, I don't know if I go as far as say a bomb threat, but there people were making threats in the area, and so there was oh, one day that, that yeah. the school like went on lockdown just because it was happening in the area. At our school, I don't think it got them, but they were like, "We're just gonna <laughs> well, yeah, this is one of those why not? Right. Let's be safe." Say it first. Like, it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, uh, release date of yeah, Strange wow. Wilderness. This movie, this this movie right here with the uh, <laughs> sleeper. What? An hour in, and I think we've talked about this movie like 10 minutes. Well, we just found Maybe. out the release date. Does anybody get it? 2008. No. Oh, 420. It, it literally no. said on screen. February 1st. February 1st, 2008. That's the, two years after we graduated from high school. So I'm kind of in the area Wait, when, when she was still banging that dude. No, I hadn't. Boned. Boned when you're still boning that dude. You gotta think about it, man. You gotta think about it. <laughs> I've been waiting all day to bone that up. <laughs> no, in 2008, that's I what she's doing. Stopped. She's like, I already stopped. Stop boning. So you know the day, the exact day. No, I know the year. The that's day. weird. It's a no. It's a no bones. Oh, no, 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 no bones. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I stopped on February third. No, I'm 3rd. wrong. I'm wrong. I hadn't started nope. yet. I hadn't started boning. And started boning that guy. Not that one. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> okay, cool. So I was Bob actually in a long-term relationship at the time. Same guy, different guy. Different guy. Long-term relationship though of when this from same guy I was with after I graduated high school. Still, when this movie came out. Right. So hadn't owned anybody else yet. Else yet. <laughs> Just boning. Top ten that hey, week. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what we talk about. We get to the nitty gritty on the this isn't real because we're deciding up. things. I'm a grown up. We're fucking old. We can talk about whatever we want. Come on. It's almost our 20th anniversary of a high school reunion, by the way. Stop, Steve. Hey, I just had to throw that out there. And it's Speaking not almost. Two years. You have time. We have time to see what the world. We even we didn't even do like a ten year. Mm -mm. I remember mm -mm. I remember mine did, and it was all the rich kids from my school, and they like. Rented out the pier, and they're like, hey, 45 bucks to get you in, and then you got to buy fucking dinner. I was like, 
So ours went nope. from they were going to do something at like the Gaylord or something in the National Harbor, and it went from that to uh, Gilbert Run. I don't know what Gilbert Run is. It's a, uh, it's park. a park in La Plata. Oh, so it's downgraded. Oh, big time. Big time. Okay. Big time. Your big big time. time. Slap the base. <laughs> Slap the base. Not Why do you to... sound like a leprechaun? <laughs> Why do people keep saying oh. that? Those are not on Plex. I love you, man. <gasps> the leprechaun movies. Oh. oh. No, I thought you did just put them on. Jen oh. Annie? Yeah. I thought you did just put those on. I'm, I'm the worried. leprechaun. No, they're not. Uh, anyway, you did. I did notice some movies you put on there in the recent ads. That I was like, why the fuck would he put these on here? I don't remember. Because you can't it was find now. them. But I remember what it was. But I saw them and I was like, ah, oh, why a couple, are these here? There's a twins. There's a couple. No, Ryan, I asked for those. Yeah, oh, she asked for them. Because you can't. No, but but because. That's funny because I was going, why did he put these? On no, here? but because you now, can't you know, find them anywhere. Emily and I have talked about this before. We used to have all of them on VHS when we were like young. Yeah. And so they're terrible. But it was one of those things where it's like nostalgic and yeah. I was like I can't I mean, find them anywhere I need them somewhere I watch that one fucking movie all the time when it's on um billboard it dead it takes, it takes two. two when they're little that was the first one I watched it was a very when he put them all on there that was the very first one I watched it's with the, Christy Alley yeah yeah no, no I'm fucked I'm thinking of the one with the um what's the redhead Oh, parent trap, parent, parent trap. trap. I'm thinking parent trap. I watch That's that one all the time. Different. Yeah, yeah those are twins, different. by the way. Those oh, are two it takes people. two. It is takes the one where the junkyard, the one kids in the yeah. Junkyard. Well, yeah, for the one part of the movie, Actually, you in the know, junkyard. you know, yeah, because one's rich, one's an orphan, and they and they don't end up finding out they're actually related. They are just strangers who look exactly alike, which is just That's weird. bizarre. Mm. It happens. Sure it does. Allen, so, real quick before we get off this 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 high school kick, where what was your guys' senior trip? Even have one. Uh, other senior classes did, and for some reason, I feel like something happened with ours. And we but didn't. but for the most part, it was like Cedar Point or something like that. Like a to like a like the that huge like the what is it the largest amusement park in the country, Cedar Point in Ohio or oh yeah. okay yeah, yeah wherever yeah that was one year they did that. I, I don't think we had. I don't one. think we had one either. If anyone's watching and or listening, and they class of twenty. Or 2006 in Stone. I don't, yeah, I don't Thomas we don't, Stone. We don't remember. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember having one. I only brought it, brought it up because, so mine, again, we had a select group of the popular clique that was rich. So, and of course, the president it. was in that clique. Yeah. And they're like, hey, we're going we're gonna to go to Venice, Italy. What? Everybody, if you want to come, it's like $2,800 a ticket. Come no, on. Ours weren't that rich, I don't feel like. Oh, I was mad. I was like, yeah, Although let's go to what? Town, that's different. Oh, that's if crazy. we were like Riken, I could understand. That's a private, you know, whatever school. That's but crazy. Oh, Who would even let their high school kid go to Go Venice? to fucking Italy? <laughs> Bye. My parents would have probably let me go to Italy. but With I, like a chaperone. They, but like, who's paying for that? Right. Not me. Yeah, y'all got fundraiser? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think, I think there was talk of one. Remember, but I tried then to be the some, secretary like, of the one I think by the, like, listen, I, I think by the time our senior class came around, and I think it was the same thing with our reunion. Pulls credit. Is a lot of people <laughs> checked out. Uh, yeah. So, like, they had talked about a trip, and then, like, not enough people showed interest. Mm. Same thing with the reunion. Like, they brought it up, and then people were like, people, well, we I got don't, lives. I I don't want to pay okay. that much if I can't bring my, because it was, like, this much for this, this much if you're bringing, like, your spouse or whatever, like, different. And they were like, well, I don't want to go if I can't bring my spouse, and I don't right, want to pay right. this much. So then that's why it got super downgraded, huh. and then people didn't even go to that. So I think <laughs> I think by the time our class came around, people were like, I don't care. It don't matter. I feel like if I'm not still friends with these people... Why do I care? I don't need and also, to go talk to them. I in think that's today's what day and age, back in the day, you didn't know what these people did. Right, there was you, no Facebook. Right. Now, that's what I'm saying. Like, and you're, or you're, you're still, still seeing people at local bars and stuff. I mean. Yeah. Ew. Go the other way. And, and the I grocery the store, gas right. station. Same thing. Just Stop. turn around. Shoot, and go the other shoot way. me in the face. Yeah, I don't want to talk to this person. Speaking of, uh, box Shut office that tick. week, the top ten. I'll oh, be yeah. great at it. This is Tara's favorite part of the show, right? Mm-hmm. Is it? I'm just kidding. It is. It is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Top 10 that week. Number 10. There Will Be Blood. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that a horror? No. Oh, no. That's um, the last like, week of my life. I get it. Okay. okay. No, that shark was... Shark bait. Uh, Ooh, ah. Yeah. That was... Uh, there was a shark in this movie. Yep. Big one. Yeah. <laughs> go, go. A big one. <laughs> and one at the end. Look, it was that from one. SpongeBob. Go, go. <laughs> no, There Will Be Blood was a period piece. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Uh, she, uh, yeah, I was uh, waiting for somebody to get it. Uh, it was sister, is, it, is it like sequel to the traveling pants? <laughs> no, it was actually about oil. There actually was a sequel to the sister of the traveling pants. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was traveling shorts because they took pants yeah. two. Right. 
they had to cut them into shorts shorter. because. And they went to Greece, and that movie is the movie that made me realize I want to go. How to do Greece. they fit all of us? Oh my god! <laughs> no, anyways, this was like <laughs> so a a, a movie about <laughs> oil. Real. So back in like the 1900s or oh, 18, oil. like oil. oil. Earned, earned oil. No, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, number nine, Cloverfield. Terrible. Oh, what? Terrible. You didn't like? It? You're not a monster feature kind of guy. I am, but that, that was, was a just, was I got motion sickness. One. Oh, that was one of the first found footage type kind of movies, big screen. Found what was footage. the one that was quarantine? Kind of a sequel to oh. Cloverfield. Uh, 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 the one in the, the they bunker. were in the bunker. Yeah. Something. It, it, uh, fuck. I remember I that one. I know what one. you're talking about. Yeah. I remember that one more than I remember Cloverfield. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I remember. I remember. I remember. <laughs> John Goodman's in it. Yes. Why? I remember it's, it came it, out after there was rumor that he died, and so that was weird because it was like, "What?" Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, uh, there have been. Uh, I feel like a rumor comes out every like four years about him dying, and he's like, "Nope." Still here. Thank still you. kicking. Too bad Wally's not here to be on that computer to find out this shit. No, I got it. I got it. Ten Cloverfield Lane. That's it. Yep. It was Cloverfield. Number eight. Untraceable. Oh. Ah, where the guy was like <laughs> killing people online. Maybe let's find out. I think. Um, wait, before trains. you say, I think this is what happens. I think there was this guy. He was like a serial killer, and he would like kidnap people and like tie them up and stuff. And the more views Ooh, that the videos Sean, were getting, the Sean faster Matt. they would die. Yep. Movie. FBI agent Jennifer Diane Marsh. Lane? Diane Lane. Diane Lane is tasked with hunting down a seemingly untraceable serial killer who posts live Diane videos of his Lane? victim on the internet. As time it's runs out, the cat and mouse and chase becomes her. more personal. Because they capture the agent. I love Diane Lane. Sure. One of my remember, favorite. Remember he blinks? He's doing Morse code? Yes, yeah. And he's like, we yep. are our own death. I don't, yep, yep, I don't yep, think yep. Really cryptic seen. message there. Thanks for telling us who, or who it was. Um, love Diane Lane. One of my favorite Diane Lane movies Diane ever Lane. is Diane like Lane him, and John she's, Cusack. She's pretty oh, I know who she is. Must love dogs. Yeah, Diane. John Cusack, Diane she's Lane. A, love that a, movie. She's a, she's a natty. Why is there a two-pack a well, premonition with Sandra Bullock and Untraceable with Diane Lane. Are they like connected? No, they're no, not. No, maybe the same. Both decent. Oh my movies, God! Remember though. UMD on PSP? Yeah. They were both decent movies, though. Premonition. Sure. Number seven, The Bucket List. The old man. The old man. Yeah, yeah. Morgan Freeman and the old man. John Nicholson. Somebody. Jack Nicholson. Sure. Jack. John. Jack. <laughs> Number six, Juno. Can't even. <laughs> With Elliot Page. Yes. Weird looking back on that now, right? Yeah. Like not in, in not in any bad way. Oh no, not in an insulting way. Just but, like weird now. Yeah. And people yeah. don't realize she was also in the first couple seasons of the Trailer Park Boys. He. Sorry. Well, what was? Or was it she at the time? So then? I mean, uh, so was Ellen then? So here's my question: If I'm, well, if you're talking past tense, right? I don't know. Mm, either way, it sounds like dead naming, and I'm not here for that. <laughs> No, no I just want to be. I want. You I want to be. Old name yeah, that person's dead. Right. Oh, I see. So right. So dead. then, but, but we don't do that. We don't do that. Okay. That's so Elliot. he. I want to know if that's Juno. that's. So then, yeah. But I. But you, I agree. Yeah. I, I agree Seeing with you if because. Him that and then you just. I, you know, I, mean, I think it's. I think it's just. Then you the, feel like a piece of shit. No, I, like, I. So if you're in this deck, then do I call you by that? No, name but that's what I think. I think for the safest bet is you just go with the present. I agree. I would like to. Or just say, hey, you so were we in this. So don't talk about him at all? I was just have a guy stay. They were in this. That's what you said. Oh, but right yeah. now we're talking about. I'm in a person. Okay, well, the person in person. With the why, last why name Why would we Page. ever run into Elliot Page? I don't know. You never You guys know. watch Umbrella Academy? My yeah. wife is trying to get me to watch it. I'm like, I'm not watch it, but I could. My wife. Karen yeah, watches it, but you're I married. I you have to do that. I, do. I couldn't yeah, get into it's, it. It's on the page that you yeah. sign when you're yeah, married. I've seen some of it, and it's not my. Yeah, it's not my jam either. Number five. Rambo, which one? The the new release. Oh, the, one. oh it was him with he was yeah. We're just in the back of the truck, <laughs> just making soup, because that's what it was. Yeah. Human yeah. soup. Human yeah. soup. That's a cherry pie out there. <laughs> Speaking so of Shark Week, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Because <laughs> now it makes me wonder that how many were left just alive. Like ah ah. Medic! Just. <laughs> no one. I have the casualty. Uh, okay. I have a casualty. It's like she. <laughs> Don't be too loud. He's gonna finish us off. 
<laughs> but then there's still a casualty. And remember, casualties don't it's mean It's crazy. Death. I yeah. know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm a casualty of war, of war. but I'm alive. I yeah, you can't. Word. That sounds like stolen death valor. Donald Trump is a casualty of war. Uh, is he? He got shot. Oh, technically. So technically, he's a casualty. I would call that terror. <laughs> There's a lot of casualties with that. More than we're, we're a casualty. You're right. <laughs> we are. Compose. Number four. Meet the Spartans. That was like spin off. Come right? on. Really spray painting. Number that four. That got to number four. That's crazy. Carmen Electra was in that. And that's yeah. even that week. What if it was higher before then? I didn't Probably. look when it came out because it was four, Probably. but yeah. Top three that week, no particular order. Then you guys got to guess. The Eye, 27 Dresses, Hannah Montana, Best of Both Worlds. The Eyes yeah. was Shia LaBeouf. Okay, you're good. No, you the eye, that's Eagle Eye. Eagle. <laughs> that movie's good. The that Eye is, is the good. one where she, she has someone place. else's eye. What? She gets like an eye transplant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Jessica Alba. Yeah, it's not good. What does she see? Uh, it's, it's creepy shit. Things of the other person's, what they went through. And right. Yeah. yeah, it's gross. Wow. Um, I'm gonna say 27 dresses. Do we need to start having like tissues down here? Number one. Wait, what weeks were they? Why do you do we don't, that? We don't Why did you do stop that. doing that? Yes, we do. Don't Sometimes say we don't we ever do, do that. Sometimes I guess I'm gonna do that all the time. All right. This well, week, then I'm gonna know. say Hannah Montana movie first, then because okay. I, I don't know what I don't know what week it Best was. Best of both. And then I'm gonna say 27 dresses and the eye. I'm going yeah. 27. I love one. that. I actually mm-hmm. genuinely like really like that movie. Number two is Hannah. Montana. Then. Montaigne. Uh, I said Joe Montaigne. Montaigne. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, what you doing, dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> number one, Hannah Montana. Number two, The Eye. Number three, 27. Whoa, places. I was way off. I, I was got the number word. one. Yeah, right. last place. You didn't even guess. Well, you know. Well, the, I reverse. can't guess those. I can't guess these. I can guess these ones coming I got out. the number one right. That's all I get. Did you? That, that, that must have been Hannah. in its first week, though. Probably. 27 Dresses is gold. I just don't Sorry. like her anymore. Catherine, Catherine Heigl. Yeah. I just want to. I have a whole different view on her now. Like in more, because more recent interviews, people are at, are more, are more getting into the, because okay. she was, she okay. was the media. Sure. Probably spun it a different spun way. Spun it to make her look like a difficult person when she was just trying to yeah. what get what she deserved. She had a bad rap. Yeah. People. And then in interviews, they started saying to her, you know, people say you're difficult. And then it made her look more difficult because she was like, like, no, I'm not. Why are you not difficult? You're difficult. You're bad. (laughs) And you know that that I think it's Vanity Fair or someone where they do the the, the actor on actor. It's fake news. Where they do the actor on actor and they have another actor. They had Ellen Pompeo, who's the main, who's Grey in Grey's Anatomy, interview Catherine Heigl, who used to be on Grey's Anatomy in the first few seasons. I remember that. And they brought them back together and they, and they talked about it a little bit more too. Like I think it was like a year or two ago. But the border crisis. And same thing though about how like she, like all she was trying to do was get do good. what she was owed. Yeah. On that yeah. like on a, she like won an award and shit like that. Like an award. and it was and Patrick Dempsey actually fought Dempsey. for Ellen Pompeo to make more money on Grey's Anatomy because mm. he was like you're what not gonna pay me Pompeo. this because of because I'm a, you know I'm this famous. Actor and not pay this actress who's the name character on the show, you know. Like so, I just think she got a bad rap back then. Maybe, but I like Twenty Seven Dresses and I like the Ugly Truth with her and Gerard Butler. That's well, I didn't say I didn't like the movie. I said I just don't like her. But I lo- my favorite part of that movie is when she of Twenty Seven Dresses is when she walks in and her sister's trying on their dead mother's wedding dress that she allowed her to wear because she's getting married for first, sure. based off lies. Sure. And she had had this. She was like, "You can wear it after me." Blah blah blah. She walks into her dress appointment. She had had the seamstress literally demolish this dress, mm. like cut it into an entirely different dress. Mm. And when she's walking out, and she's like, "You're not gonna tell him anything because you're my sister." And she goes, "No, not today. You're just some bitch who cut up my mo- my dead my mother's wedding dress." Mm. But and I was like, "Oh, oh. snap! Mm. Oh snap! Yeah." Mm. Budget time. <laughs> What do we think it costs to make five dollars? Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You see the way that I don't shark know. Walked? What did it cost yeah. them to film in this movie? That, what they were filming? Because I feel like about the same. That Bigfoot outfit did talk a little bit, huh? so I feel like that was a little bit of money. There was a man in there. there it went. <laughs> it did not like it. There talks, was a man talks. in there. Well, his lips moved. Oh, oh, 
What did he say? And then he no, was like, I'm going to kill you. I think it was an angry growl. That's what I was more definitely heard. All of the, I was going to say, all of the animals were just like, that's just ripped from something else. Had to be. Like, yeah. Like the seals. He put them in a seal costume. <laughs> they they had to pay for that seal costume. Yeah. Those aren't cheap. What I will say is. Then got eaten. I'm going to say, like. One of the best parts of this movie is the is, are the in between segments of Where when they show the thing and he's doing the, the I'd watch that. Narrating. Yeah. That yeah. sounds hilarious. It's like it's, it's like when Snoop Dogg does it. Like yeah. I've seen, especially, the, especially that part when they're he's talking about the seals and he's like luckily there is not a tiger waiting for them on land. Because they wouldn't know they what to do. <laughs> what to do. And then all of a sudden yeah. the guy's getting attacked and, he, and he's like, oh my god! Oh my god! Like, Sharks are only found in two places. The, the northern, northern and, and southern, southern hemisphere. hemisphere. <laughs> It's funny. He's like monkeys eat hundreds of ants a year. <laughs> even when yeah. and they Look say if those. ants were bigger, yes. those numbers would change. <laughs> like or even what? even when he's in the office and he's showing them the clips from their past yeah. episodes, those like what is it over uh, voiceover. voiceover? Yeah, voiceover. voiceover. Thank you. When he's showing them those clips and they're and it's like the guy on fire yeah. at the peace rally and they put that like the Jesus song behind it and the what was it the um oh my god. The lion humping the other lion. Yeah. He's like, I got next. I got next. <laughs> of his intro, he's like, five, four, three, two, and I'm talking one. And I'm talking now. now. Push the button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was funny. Full countdown. I think there's a better movie in this. In the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't need to go as far, you know what I mean, as dumb as they did. He's... This could have been so much funnier if it was more like Tropic Thunder. I agree. Line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like yeah they're they're dumb people and they're doing silly things but you didn't need to make them completely oblivious and idiotic. I think or Steve Zahn needed the, to be that dumb. Or their friend like the friend getting attacked in the seal costume, the the honestly the entire Bigfoot premise. Like you could have these idiots making it a weird nature yeah. documentary yeah. and be just and be even funnier without it being like. Well, also who killed all those people? The pygmies. Yeah. But they, had right. like, they had like AKs yeah. and guns and yeah. stuff, which is what's crazy. True. When they show the women, when they're doing oh, it, yeah. and they're like, "Well, see the the native women <laughs> aren't like the the best looking, so we just got those instead." They're like literally at someone's house. Yeah, like when right. that that bush falls down when she bumps into it, it's just like. Also, her boobs moved, not at all. Those are called fake boobs. That those one are old fake. Boobs. No, you can get fake boobs that move. Hers were not, quite literally just not back placed then. on not back top then. of her chest yeah. plate. Unless they and were like fake. Just did not move. Hold on, unless they were they're fake, 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 fake boobs. boobs, right? Fake, fake boobs. So oh, like she's like wearing a chest plate. Glued yeah, them, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because right yeah. like the other girls were all like jumping and their boobs were, and hers were just like. I like like I here. time to take this, note of this. Thank you. Oh yeah, I pay attention to everything. Yeah, she's sure. got it, especially the fake boobs. If you think I'm not gonna look at boobs, so budget. I would rather look at those With boobs the than boobs. his Pff, gnarly nuts sad side, penis. Side so. I stitched it myself. Did he stitch his balls to his dick? I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. it was it was just all up in there. Good for him. He's tried. I mean, it worked. When it's what do you think? It worked. I mean, she oh, found my out. rating. Well, oh no, <laughs> budget. Budget. <laughs> budget. Twelve mil. Twelve. Yeah, I'm going mil. seven. Seven. I think I they guessed... made seven. <laughs> I guess ten million dollars. Yeah. I think they made seven, if that. The actual budget was twenty. Wow. Oh, I was closest. I'm surprised to be completely. That's honest a with lot you. of money for a shark. Twenty to seems look like, like a that lot. Yeah, no yeah, joke. Twenty seems like a lot. It's probably it's probably all like cast and food, like for real, like just catering. But how long yeah, did because this movie a lot of that make? a lot of that shit was spliced from other nature shows. It's not like they're actually engaging yeah. with animals. I think they so. might have wasted a lot and then tried to piece this together probably. in post, and we're like, oh. Fuck, this is the best we can do. Uh, yeah. Shit, what are we going to do at the end? I don't know, throw my shark. Be, yeah. um, never mind, I'm going to save it for later. <sighs> Take that, shark. <laughs> yeah, this milk's three weeks old. This is for you. <laughs> Box office. What do you think this movie made? What did you say? Box office. I what did seven. I say? It's a, I, I'm going to say it. I think it, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it made under 10. Under 10. I don't think it made double digits. Sure. I, do, I don't see it. If Wait, it did. Was it even in the top 10? No. Did you hear that? Are you kidding? Yeah, okay. <laughs> to be honest, I did, I, I did not. To be honest, that. I would be was, genuinely disappointed if it made double digits. Sure. It was number 12. Yeah, I don't even yeah, I don't think it did. I'm shocked it was even that close to the top 10. Yeah, single, I mean, single million mm. digits. I mean 4.5. Single 4. million, 5. single million. No, single mills. <laughs> single mills. So you're 4.5, you're just under 10. So not a milli, a milli, just 
a million. Yeah, I'm that under ten. Sense. Under sure, ten. That makes sense. You don't want to give a number? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't think it matters. I think anything under ten is embarrassing enough. I mm, I'll give it eight. Eight. No, uh, what? Eight. There's a lot of millions. <laughs> it's eight millions. Seven. Because seven. when he said seven, I did make the joke. I think that's what it made. So I'll stick with seven because that's what he said. I guess fifteen million dollars. Steve, that's generous. That's what I said to myself when I put it down. I was like. Maybe people win some. My seven, I feel like, is generous. So over, uh, sorry, opening weekend, it made three million dollars. Oh wow! Shut That's a lot. Fuck up. That's too much. Overall, it made you ready. Six point. Nine million dollars. Damn, that's crazy. Oh man, I'm so glad I changed the seven. <laughs> crazy that half that was almost in the first. Everyone went silent. Like, don't, don't I go still again. Yeah. Too much, to be honest with you. Oh, for oh, for sure. But this a, could, this could straight to this straight is a, to VHS. Yeah, it's a it's a stoner. No DVD. It's, like a, it's, it's a, a DVD. It's like a stoner movie. Yeah, it's to fun. Okay, tomatometer time. Rotten Tomatoes score. The oh, Rotten Tees. What do you think? Critics and audience gave this out of a hundred percent. Both under fifty. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess if they're all Josh, maybe sometimes. I'm, I'm going to say, or if they're all high. Don't hurt his feelings. Oh, no, I'm not. That's not an insult to Josh. I'm just saying if there were people who liked it like he did. Yeah. Then I mean, I think it's, I'm still going to rate it low. I'm going to say, audience. I don't 30, know what I don't 37. 37. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Critics worse, so I'm gonna say critics twenty two. Twenty two. I didn't think that bad. Come on, dude. I was gonna say critics. I've been low. on this show long enough. I was gonna say critics like thirty three percent. Like audience, I feel like I'm going over fifty. Fifty three. Fifty three for audience. Yeah. Okay. That feels safe. Okay. Made money to the big bottle. They should make them in sizes. They should, yeah. They do, don't they not? No. Do they not? Don't don't they not? <laughs> don't they not? <laughs> no, you're don't right. you know. That's correct. Don't, <laughs> don't they not? What was it called? A contradiction? Sure. Don't they not? All right. So Robin Hill needs to sponsor us along with Taco Bell. Just peachy. Just peachy. Good. Oh yeah, Taco Bell. How have you not had chicken? Here we go again. So, I yeah. guessed audience twenty five percent. Wow. Critics. I was really generous. Fifteen percent. We've been on this See, long time. You have. Yeah, this is the part I'm <laughs> bad at. Anyone with numbers? When Steve and I are surprised, I think everybody is surprised. You know, like my scale is just so different because have... this movie, I'm like, well, although there was one recently, I don't remember which one it was, but I was super surprised. Like we gave it really low, and it was it like was high. Okay, it this was like in the '60s, low. and we were like, what the? Well, fuck? they ended with a blooper. Like it wasn't oh, even no, a it real was, ending. It was, yeah. it was because the critics. We were like, we got, we understood why audience might like it, but it would, critics gave it higher. Oh, yeah, we were yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck? Mm. What well, were they saying that we're not seeing? We have a a first on this show, a world record on this show. Is it the lowest? Is it wait, which which lowest? Audience or audience or critics? I'm gonna do audience first. So the audience is not the lowest. Though. Audience thirty five percent. Wow, you were close. Critics. Uh, what did I say? Like thirty seven. Thirty seven. Okay. I'm critics sure. at an all time low for this show. Are wow. you ready? Is it single digits? 2%. Wow. 2%. Where the, did you do you ever look up how many reviews are there? Was it like yes, not a there lot? Was, there was more than you think. It was like over 150. All right, did you do a top and bottom comment? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm I excited for this. Wait. I'm really excited so for this. So, wait, say, before yep. you read them, is the top even like a 10 out of 10 or is the top like a, Oh, and we will find out. Man, this movie's my favorite because, movie. Because well, but so far when we've been doing this, <laughs> yeah. the top comments have been like a 10 out of 10. So, I'm right. I'm interested to see a movie where the even the top comment is not a, is 10. Not not a 10, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Well, it's not this movie. Because it's Someone still a 10 gave out of 10. this a 10 out of 10. Josh, did you it go? Was, it was me. I like this. <laughs> it movie. was me. <laughs> On in, in August of 2010. Wow, this is a long Lander 8. Well, let me read that again. Excuse in Cootlander 8. In Cootlander 8. Let me read you. I saw Strange I don't trust anything they say. A few years ago, all the reviews I read for this movie were terrible, and when I went to the IMDb, I didn't expect much to change. Excuse me. Personally, I had never laughed so hard at a movie in my life. Strange Wilderness reminded me of the movie Airplane, which was just as stupid, but you end up laughing yourself silly. Don't call me Shirley. Now, for Shirley those who love the movie The Hangover, I'm sure 
I'm sure you, this movie just as funny. I read Shut that right. Shut the fuck up. They did not compare I'm this sure to the hangover. This. Steve Zahn and his band of idiots kept you rolling throughout their trek to find Bigfoot. Strange Wilderness is one of those movies you can have a blast watching with friends, the crazy ones that will get you locked up. It's no surprise that Strange Wilderness didn't receive any Oscars. I did think it was worthy of better reviews. When it comes to comedies, I have to put the movie in my oh, all-time God. top 20. If you are a serious movie critic, critic, there really is no point in wasting your time viewing. Now well, for those who aren't so serious about their movies, Strange Wilderness is a definite must-see 10 out of 10. At least he finishes that This well. motherfucker. I sure you this, this movie, movie just as fun. In the same as The Hangover. We well, said top 20, which is, this is not even. Not even top what? 50 of comedies I've seen. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, not sorry. No, no, no. When you. When you. See someone's review and you click on their name, will it show you other movies they've reviewed? I haven't tried. That's an interesting question. <laughs> well, because I, I. I would like to know these other top I'd 20 like to, movies. I, well, I. In some situations like yep. this, yep. I'd like to know the type of person that left well, this person is an idiot because he has friends that'll get you locked up. Yeah, but this but is this, what I'm, but, I'm but curious. But what he says is accurate, though. This is a movie Wait, you put okay. on in the background. I can pull up. I can pull it up now. When right? you're having drinks, We've you're smoking done. around the couch, smoking around the couch. Because yeah. I would smoking, like drinking, shooting. <laughs> I would like. To, how do what you get to that? How do you uh, get the black sheep? So IMDb, if you go there, then you can go down to reviews, and then you got to sort by best or worst or some shit. Anyways, while you're looking that up, the low from MJ Russo (laughs) fourteen. Wait, do you do critics or audience, or is it all of it? Just whatever full thing. I'm IMDb. So in July of two thousand eight, MJ Russo fourteen wrote, "I basically just watched a movie." And slapped it into one of five categories. One really good, two liked it, three A, four horrible. The fifth category is a very special one. Of the thousands of movies I've seen, I've only put one movie into it, Baby Geniuses. I call it the I wish I can actually sue someone for making a movie this bad category. (laughs) Thanks to Strange Wilderness, I've officially expanded the number of movies into this category to two. If you're the type to giggle on for 10 minutes like a 10-year-old schoolgirl after someone tells you their name is Dick, you're going to absolutely love this turd. That was real bad. That was real bad. Wait, it's just Dick? It's Dick. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I laugh with it. Yeah. Because it's not that his name's Dick. Oh, geez, here we go. I was scrolling through, and one of these, one of these critics said, any resemblance to comedy is purely coincidental and unintentional. <laughs> That's but a good like, review. That's, I put like that on that, the DVD. The fucking. only reason to chuckle is to prove you haven't died while watching it. <laughs> That's was, pretty good. That's hilarious. But people that take life that seriously, though, like I don't want to know. That. They gave it a zero out of four. I agree. Oh yeah, but I that's went to just user really reviews. funny. Uh, sort by review. You're, you're gonna absolutely love this turd. <laughs> Oh, this look, person, I found him already. End what can later. you say about a film when its most memorable scene is one in which Steve mm-hmm. Zahn's private parts get caught in a turkey's throat? Didn't he, I, can't, I didn't even remember it. <laughs> Me either. I didn't remember that part of all the parts. Yeah, so you can't click on this person. As funny as watching a cute animal die a slow, long death. <laughs> slow and long. Okay, favorite yeah, I character can't, you can't click on their names. in this movie? Justin Long. I mean, Junior. Pretty Slash much. Junior. Pretty much. Pretty I like Jonah Hill's character, too. Are you wearing a thong? Just... Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 I am, man. <laughs> he was talking about his feelings and I... <laughs> <laughs> just he was so random. Yeah. But, like, w- this was after Accepted, right? Had was been. Accepted his first movie? No, it was Super Bad. No. He was in some other things before this. Was Which was his first main movie? Was Super Bad his first main movie? No, that was way... That, well... It was in the early 2000s, too. So, except it was 2006 as well as Superbad, I believe, it was 2006. This is 2008, so this is two years after. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because Superbad... Funny credit, uh, the helicopter pilot who's yelling down at them in the beginning of the movie is Seth Rogen. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> I actually was hoping that was going to be on, because I almost looked it up, and I was like, no, I'll wait. It was him. Favorite part of scene? The eyeballs. Eyeballs is yours? 
Yeah. So mine is a Justin Long scene, but it's it's all part of the nitrous is in the uh, oh shit okay. camper, and they're yeah, basically yeah. having a rave. Yeah. But Justin Long oh, spray the... paints a dick on yeah. the and wall then and goes, goes <laughs> then goes like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To the dick, dude. He's just, uh, he's just so random. That's what I mean. His movie. random like, his randomness is so good. And it makes so me wonder good. how much of that because you don't see a lot of that in in a lot of his roles. Sure. He's always been good, but like you don't see a lot of that. So I wonder how much of him is improv. You know what I mean? Like just in his mind, he went probably, impulsive thoughts are, are winning here. Yeah, like, so he was in. So he was in. Not, like, except it was before this. He was in Grandma's Boy, Forty Year Old Virgin, oh, yeah, 40 Knocked Year Up, All Before Super This, Super Bad, Strange Wilderness, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. He had a lot ago. of good He's ones. He's been before in a lot this. of good movies. Yeah, but he, but specifically before this, like a lot of those were yeah. some of his most memorable he was in roles. Click? The fuck was he? Yeah, in he click? was in Click. Yep. Click. What was he in Click? What was the first one? Uh, I heart Huckabees. Oh my god, I don't, I don't know, know what that, that is. Movie. I don't know what that is. Mark Wahlberg is in it. Yeah, it was a big movie. What? what? Yeah, it was. He got a bad rap. I feel bad for him. He's been through a lot emotionally. Mm -hmm. I want to know not, what people happened. not taking him seriously and stuff like that. I go a little oh, back yeah. and forth on him recently, just because yeah. of all of that domestic abuse stuff with mm -hmm. his. Because I've read some of those messages, and I, I could go either way on that. Like sure. some of them, he's clearly being a little too much. Too much, but I'm then much also that's probably due to his own mental health situation that led him to that. And I'm not saying he's right for no. acting that way with her, yeah. but I think it's from his own issues his that own, led to that. Because I can tell you right now, some of those texts I read, I would be like, you can get the fuck out of my fucking yeah, but they're, face. Yeah, I don't know anything about any of that. I just try to. Like, it was well move. on the base level, even the, the like the very like smallest one I saw because she was a pro surfer or she's a pro surfer or something and he like didn't like some of like her photo shoots and stuff in bathing suits yeah, get over that and buddy. he's like and, <laughs> and some yeah, of it was that, like buddy. she was like yeah. this is Be my job like yeah, this yeah. is what i do and he would get sensitive about that or sensitive about people she inter interacted with and i'm like okay these are clearly insecurities and i'm not yeah. saying it's not okay to have your own insecurities, but you got to find a balance there, or or then you just have to realize this person isn't isn't for you. You can't just pile on them and make it their problem. So I was on both sides of it, but I can tell you, I wouldn't have been no. dealing with it. No. Did you say your favorite part? The the uh, yeah the nitrous yeah. nitrous, the nitrous right, right, right. Well, how are we gonna make a thousand dollars? You gotta take this nitrous. Um, oh, and then and when the guy's fucking the one guy's wife, like on the camera. Yeah. That's piercing. Funny. He's like piercing. I he should have been so, way more pissed off. Honorable yeah. mention. I I do feel like when they found them all destroyed, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Are you still gonna punch him in the face?" Like yeah. Bill <laughs> asked you to, because he's you know, half of his body is over there. Well, he's like, can, and he's can Fred goes, his? "Can you feel this?" Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, like, what? "Like what? His legs are separated <laughs> from his body." And I like Car Carrick walked in while I was watching that because he was about to leave the house, yeah. and he walked in while I was watching it, and he was like. What the fuck? And I was like, it, I can't even explain it to you. Like, what I'm Again, watching. there's parts of this movie that are hilarious. But I was like, you just wait till he's dead and punch him. Like, you still served. You still We're served totally the, still the purpose. Like, I think my favorite part is when they find Bigfoot. Because yeah. the whole movie's leading up to this scene. When he just... Well, well and so Carrick lingered for that part. He lingered for that part because he was like... He was like, give me a, the quickest synopsis you can about this. And I said, it's these amateurs. His dad was a, was a wildlife documentary Showdown. person. He's really, really bad at it. They're on the hunt for Bigfoot. And then that part came up as we were watching, and I was like, I'm not even looking at the TV. I'm literally, because I, I, I had so, I was doing other things, sure. so I was watching while she I was getting get ready to come pool. here. No, I finished the movie, but I, I had it on in the bedroom, so the TV was kind of behind me where I was facing the mirror while I was getting ready. Playing it on two different TVs? And I, no. Oh, that's what you meant, what you said. No, the TV be smart, was. Though, so you don't miss a thing. Right. The TV don't in our bedroom is across thing. from our bed, so it was on sure. the wall here. But yeah. my vanity is here, so the TV was here. So I'm watching it in the mirror, like I can see it in the mirror. But okay. so I said, and if I, I'm like literally like putting eyeliner people. on, and I said, and if I remember correctly, Bigfoot's about to walk out behind him, and then they're all gonna kill him. Right. And not even two minutes later that started happening and Carrick was like oh my god yeah that's what's happening like he was like that's <laughs> this what, is great he was like what you said is happening because i because i told him i said i've only seen this once and now that i've watched it i can understand why I've why i've only once. seen it once right. yeah but i said if i remember correctly now that i've seen him stand like them going that it's about bigfoot i'm pretty sure he just comes strolling out behind him and then they kill him yeah. and exactly what happened and, and they not, but they didn't only kill him 
They, they massacred him. They obliterate. They went. He's like, and literally his last line was like, maybe they can bridge the gap <laughs> between us and the animals. And he's like, oh, I'm like, ah. Like, why? <laughs> why? And they all fucking. All just... of them just unloaded. <laughs> and then they, you know, hang him up. With bullet wounds all over him. Which is hilarious. I actually love. Oh, he took his lone life. And it's just <laughs> bullet holes. I actually love everywhere. right before that. When they're doing the fake footage of them walking into the cave, and Steve is like, like he's doing like a fake like mm-hmm. shock, in awe like face, and the other guy standing next to him just like, mm-hmm. like he's not even selling it at all, but he but Steve is going full on like. Ah. Oh, such a great table movie. It's pretty glad great. I picked it. Any what the Me fuck too. moments for you guys. The movie, the movie, the turkey, as a whole, the turkey, the turkey is just great. latching the dude's on. Dick. That's yeah. I was like, can you try urinating? <laughs> also, the <laughs> whole scene where they're eating the fish. Oh yeah, he's like, he's like, wait a minute. While talking about the guy, hear me out here for a second. So the prime. If they ate, ate Bill, yeah. Dick, Dick, if are we eating Dick? And we're eating, dick? eating the fish. <laughs> <laughs> But even right before that, when they're like shoveling the fish in their mouth, but like I can't believe, like fuck, like fuck this, like I can't even believe, like even as he dies, he's just like, oh no, guys, yeah. don't come in, don't here. come in the water. Like, I, I, you see the bubbles behind him at yeah. first. It's like, where were they? I don't know. Does it matter? Uh, a they're little bit. Mexico, the piranhas because need I to be swear there. they said. <laughs> The Appalachian Mountains. I don't know what the jungle. The jungle. They're at one in, point, they're in Mexico. I think. And I'm certain Maybe that's the point. I'm certain they, they weren't somewhere places where there was time. a jungle. Um, and I and I'm certain that it's piranhas hot. are, I think, mainly in South America. Look, man, I, have you seen South the America. movie Piranha? They come out of or at, and or Africa or caves or caves. Yeah, dormant caves. Yes, I've seen the movie. Piranha. I fucking love how bad that movie is. There are like four of them. There's a Piranha 3D. But it was the second one. Mm. Yeah. Poor marketing. I know, right? Same same with Bad Boys. For Life. For Life. That should have been the fourth one. Right. Have you seen the fourth one? I no, still it. haven't. It's actually pretty good. I mean, I know it's I, I, it's on streaming stuff now, so I'll, I've I'll seen that watch it. I've seen it. I mean, it's on Plex. It's on Plex. Right. Um, I do want to watch Annabelle. I've seen a clip of oh. Reggie. No, not Annabelle. Like Abigail. Oh, dude, it's not, so good. Not Annabelle. Abigail. He's like, he's killing people. It's on there. Too. I, I, with, I, 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 yeah, so I saw I that on there. It with looks, the little ballerina girl. Yeah, it looks. Um, yeah. If mm-hmm. you haven't seen Bad Boys Three, you have to watch. I have it to seen watch Bad Boys Three. Boys. I've seen one. Bad Boys Three, but but I yeah. saw it in theaters and then not again after that. It's fine. Not again. It's on Plex. It's on Plex. Yeah, you go through them all. It's good. It's good enough. So, guess what time it is. I don't remember where there it is, the button. I didn't know the button. The fun facts of the fucking week. Wow, wow. I nailed it that time. That might have been the closest I've ever gotten. Pretty good. Didn't even know. So it's not Steve's fun facts of the week this Just week. It's fact. Steve's fun fact of this the week. This movie was that, that so. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Like not facts. not even enough fun facts. This movie begins. Is it that there weren't enough facts out there, or there, there was like there was three facts fun? on IMDb and two of them made didn't matter. They weren't fun. No, no. The, I guess one of the fun facts could have been the Seth Rogen thing, but you know whatever. Sure. This movie began its life in the 1990s as a series of independently produced short videos by former Saturday Night Live writers Fred Wolf and Peter Galky. They started out as little parodies of wildlife shows, explains co-writer and producer Galky. Fred and I went out and shot them with the help of John Burrud, Burrud, who actually has a real-life wildlife show. His father, Bill, used to host Animal World and other travel and nature shows back in the 60s, so John helped us produce these little shorts, which we eventually got onto Comedy Central. Hmm. Do you guys remember the, uh, I think it was a Wild ga- Boys. I think it was a game show Great that show. was on like Nickelodeon or something, and I don't remember the name of the game show, but it was filmed at the San Diego Zoo. And it was a game show, and it was it was on TV, but it was Legends filmed. of the Hidden Temple. No, That's what I was thinking. But I have to tell you. Kids that came from the but Black I have to Black talk Black to you about something right. when we get on. Put it on right. I know. You never yeah, get it right. But the fucking monkey, the silver monkey. I cannot remember the name of it, but it. Fucking turn its I head used the to other love way. that Sorry. show, and I because it was a lot of like animal trivia. Okay. And then like, but each episode they'd also bring out an animal from the zoo to like. The, for the contestants that are actually. What was the, the one with the, 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 the lemur? Zaboomafu. Zaboomafu, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With yeah. The, the, the whatever brothers. The Mark and something, brother, whatever. I used to really like the Nat Geo movies. Yeah, they were good. The they were good. 
So what you you were gonna say you need to tell me something or add something? What am I adding? No, there's no add. I'm gonna tell you after. Oh no. no. It's oh, nothing no. bad. I'll just I saw you. something. It's I not, it could be on here. I don't think. Sure. I was watching Legends of the Hidden Temple. Good. <laughs> recently. Good. It's awesome. And I wanted to do it as a surprise, but I also didn't want to assume what everybody would want. I think we should each get a shirt. Uh, yeah, like the green monkeys, the golden. Like I think we should each get a Hidden Temple shirt. Silver snakes right here. I want That's purple, it. the purple monkey. Was it the purple monkeys? Yeah, purple one. So I want the green, whatever it is. Parrots no, or something. I think it was a leopard. Purple. Le- you just no. want the purple one, or I just do you like want purple? That's a color purple. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to assume what everybody wanted or assume everybody's size. But I, they, you can get all of the money. Oh yeah, on. yeah. We got to get the helmets too then. <gasps> the yellow helmets and the pads. Let's just remake Legends of the Hidden Temple. I just think one day, movie. especially if like like one of the times we're covering like an old like a '90s movie or something, we just all show up on the podcast with our fucking or. Halloween. Or, or that, yeah. Because yeah. Halloween is on a Thursday this year. Oh, wait. I won't be here, though, that Monday to film. So we can do it that one. And we'll figure it out. Uh, well, we should each get. Uh, I mean, I'm in. The Legends. Yeah. The Legend TV. Final decision time. What would we rate this out of 10? Oh, and yeah. would we recommend it? Must watch or skip it? We're, Josh is going first because he picked I'm it. I'm going first. I'm going first. Um, it's not a must watch. But if I would recommend it to the right person. Okay. That's what I would what I would do. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um it's low it's low for me, but it's a great stupid would you give comedy. It a six? Yeah, I would give it I was gonna give it a six. Like it's low, but it's like it's background noise. When you like you know when people are over and you just put something on to put something on. Yeah. Where it's not too attention grabbing, where sure. it actually takes people stop what I they're see, doing. see that's what I do with my sitcoms. I just put them on. Like, yeah. So this would this would be that for me. This is one of those movies where it's on, I'll be like, ha, <laughs> stupid. And then I'd go keep doing what I'm doing. Good review. Yeah, good enough for me. I like <laughs> good enough for me. Sure, I can watch it at my you, house. You, you me, you, Whatever you, me, you me, you, you're, you're you. A question, question. You're the question. 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 We should buy a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. All right. So uh, I'm gonna give this a five out of ten. I'm gonna say this is a, a skip. For oh me. wow! But not in a bad skip. Like oh, this is the worst fucking movie ever. Skip it. Just in like. This is a cast, like, the movie is funny and I enjoy it, but with the cast at hand, this should be a, uh, should have been, like, a knockout of the park. I think Steve Zahn is good, but as a leading man, it just doesn't work for me in this movie. I feel like Justin Long could have carried this better yeah. as the leading man. So I feel like on the fucking, like... My movie's just getting shit on. I'm not picking anymore. No, no, I'm not shitting on it. I enjoy I the movie. I think it's funny. Too. This has happened to I me think too. it's funny. I laugh at it. Hey, you should have been on when we did um, Kate and Leopold. They shit all over yeah, it, and I had to sit here and be like, Pro- "That's because it's not good." My fucking heart. Probably good. I wasn't here. They Probably. shit. They sh- y'all shit all over Alpha Dog when I picked Alpha Dog. So that movie wasn't good. It does not you hold up. It does not hold up. Movie. Say that again. It's better than this movie. I would watch this movie more. I would watch Alpha Dog before I watch more Alpha Dog. <laughs> yeah, it's because you like Jonathan or uh, Justin Timberlake. No, it's not. It's just the movie in general. Okay. I'll watch this over off. The I would, yeah, yeah, come on. We win right now. Also, Foster, Ben Foster was epic in that movie. Watch him in any other. Watch The Mechanic. He's way better in that. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I've never seen it. I've I'm going to watch it. Okay, it's great. Have you? Mm-hmm. But have you, though? It's Ben Foster and fucking Jason Statham. Sorry, Jason oh. Statham. Anyways, uh, again, I feel like this movie on the cutting room floor was probably better than the actual movie, or some things happened where they had to figure out what to do and they pieced together this movie. So, five out of ten. Skip it. Zero. Oh, is no. this the lowest rated It's going to be the, no. the Rotten Tomatoes score. No, I'm no. going to give it a four. Okay. I'm going to give it a four out of ten. Um, it's not ever something that I would go <laughs> not ever. to look for. <laughs> not, not, not ever. And be like, you know what I haven't seen in a while that I feel like I'm going to Strange world. It's not, not going to be that. Um, but I will give it a four because I do like cast members um and i respect the, the process. hustle okay the hustle that's and good, i respect that's the good. concept i do okay. i do want to add in if you took out the big when i'm done mm. oh shit she here said go. here we go i'm done here we go <laughs> here we go watch this i would take out the <gasps> oh no not the shirt not, take my eyes but not my shirt do you want some club soda oh shit yeah, that happened, by the Do way. Do you remember last week when you were upset that I didn't bring one? I was. I should have happened. Happened. And then I specifically it's bought this happened. bottle at my show this weekend For to me? make sure that I had wine today. Me? 
What a yeah. what a nice Thanks. person. Just I because I didn't have any full bottles at my house, I literally bought three bottles at my show this weekend to make sure that I had a full bottle to bring to this show. Thanks. And you deprived me of the last of the sip. last drop of got, the bottle that I on. I got bought. a little bit there if you want that. I don't. Okay, I'll <laughs> take it. Fuck me. Now. What were you saying about the movie? Me? I respect <laughs> the plot. The plot. But I think it could have been executed better. He removed Bigfoot, the Bigfoot concept, and made it even just a smidgen less like outright dumb. Yeah. I think it would be a great concept for a movie. Like just just funny actors trying to like put together a random ass nature documentary series. I think that would be really funny. With the right the right actors and the right like premise without it being overly idiotic i think it would be hilarious I was thinking, in addition but i'm not doing this i mean this was so i'm doing a skip yeah. in, in a addition i did i thought this was i hadn't seen it in so long i thought this was funnier i mean some things oh, do that right so when you what watched it, was, it this, I was like, when you watched this, this you were like shit dumber like, than i remember yeah, some I things like, do that and I, I think i was more i think i was more excited about it then I was excited remembering Once exactly like, what yeah. it was about. But you live and you learn. Yeah, I was like, you know, is this, yeah, this going to be on the worst? You learn. It is not going to be on the worst. So currently, if you go on our website, we do have the list of our scores. Is all anything the way. lower than the pest yet? No, not. I don't think anything's going to get to the pest. So no, if you look at our worst good. ten, the top ten is number one, the pest at one point seven six. Pretty low. That's pretty bad. Then it goes number two, Prisoners of the Ghost Land at two point five. I would watch that again though before this, even though I like it got rated low. <laughs> I got it because that's more of a what the like you watch it to be like what the fuck's going on. Then we got at number four, sorry number three, Cool World at three point three. I wasn't here for that one. No, and tied with that is Hobo with a Shotgun, which you were for uh, at three point three. Damn, I hate that. You got they gave, man, they dogged that movie. They I didn't even give it a idea. one. No. Did, I, did I? I got a four uh, out of her on this one. What was that? Like uh, .4 or something. 163. Sorry, we got a lot of movies here. 163. She I... gave it a .2. Oh, my God. I gave it a five. Wally gave it a 4.7. .2. I mean, I definitely drove the average down, but y'all didn't give it much better. No. Maybe, like, it was still under under 50%. Number five is The Love Guru at 3.6. That's, that's why I like that one. I love Love Guru, dude. Damn. Well, cool. Toronto, of course. Right. Uh, number six was Alpha Dog at 4.3. Then number seven, Not Another Teen Movie at 4.3. I don't fucking agree with that. I think Not well, Another Teen Movie. One. I wasn't on for that one. I wouldn't Well, so that was that. our third ever episode, and the one who wrote that down, me and Brent gave it a six each, and then Ryan, who, yeah, whatever, Give it a one. Mm. He's, no, I, I don't think it deserves that low. No. Uh, then from there, we went to Jurassic World Dominion at eight for with a 4.5. Uh, then The Expendables 2, 4.6, and then Dreamcatcher at 4.6. I that would like to say only one 10. of my movies is in that, ta- is in that bottom 10. Uh, uh, one, two. Only two. Only two are minor Who's in there. Who's picking all these trash movies? This one? So The Pest was Brent. <laughs> Prison of the know. Ghost Land was a, a random, was a, random. It was, it was when we did the Christmas yep. things where we were all. Cool, cool World was Wally. Hobo with a Shotgun was Wally. Love Guru was me. Alpha Dog was you. Not another teen movie. I don't remember who, like, how we were doing picks back then. Jurassic World Dominion was a, was hey, a it's last new. Minute. It was a last minute because I think it was just you and I, wasn't yep. it? Expendables 2 was a Ryan pick and then Dreamcatcher was a Wally. So Wally's up there with the worst movies. Walter! Mm. Wally's up there. And while we're doing it and we're still here, we got a little time. The top. Host movies. If you want to know what everybody's given their top movies. So currently I have given out a 9.5. That's the highest rating I've given for Jurassic Park. I, Tara I also know what my top is. gave a, well, she gave higher than that. Well, no, no, you gave a 9.5 for Jurassic Park too. But Wally gave a 10 to Jurassic Park and a 10 to Traffic Sorry, Thunder. Those are both good 10s. Yeah, uh, you gave a 10 to Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And then I That's believe a, a nine point five to Jurassic Park, and I gave a nine to a League of Their Own. That yes. was well in one of my other. Yes, top but ones. again, ten takes over the final list. Josh, you gave yeah. a nine to Gone in sixty seconds, Blades of Glory, and Interstellar. Such a rant. It, it is funny. Well, that's even, my full spectrum. Even of mine. Life. Yeah. Even yeah. mine. Like my top, like two, three are. They're very like mm-hmm. different. Like if I was here for Jurassic Park, that might be a ten because that was the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. Oh, yep. all all like, of us. Yeah. We uh, when we when we did Jurassic Park, we were like. 
this is this is yep. I mean, how do you beat this? So then we got our uh, hosts that have been on for more than a couple episodes. So Randy's top movie is Dodgeball at nine. <laughs> Emily's top movie is Deadpool at eight point five. Brent's top movies at eight point five are Super Bad, Die Hard, and Wayne's World. George, who we haven't seen for a bit, his top movie was Dazed and Confused oh, at ten. Favorites. Wow, it's big. I don't like that movie. You don't? Uh, no. I think we talked about this before. Yeah, and then Ryan's top movie was Dogma at 10. That's a random favorite movie. For him, yes. I love that because Emily's only been on it a few times, but I, yeah. I really love that Deadpool's her top of the ones that she's done. We're going to go through this last thing. I think and I gave gonna... Deadpool 9 or something, too. Yeah, we're gonna, so. I'm going to go through this since we're here again. If anybody's listening still, if they want to go to our website, all this is on there, but... <laughs> Our top ten movies, averaged together, uh, yeah, as averages. of, well, today, but this was the last time I updated with 613 when something added to it. So, number ten is The Departed at 8.5. Number s- Which is wild to me to that... that. Yeah, well, yeah. Oops. Oops. Eight. Top Oops. ten only has eight. To yeah. me, though, <laughs> it's, that's odd because three of us are, three of us, our top movie, our top rating was Jurassic Park. So, I'm surprised that's... That that's number that's, ten. I'm, I'm going in reverse order. Oh, you went in reverse. I'm See, going in reverse order. When you, so did the lo- when you did the lowers, you went yeah, yeah. the other I'm, I'm way. I'm going so the other way. Count down. Okay, I was very going. confused because okay, yeah. I was like, Whoa. Number nine is Happy Gilmore at 8.5. Number eight. This is going to fuck me up. Yeah, I was going to say, I was lost. <laughs> Don't look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked all those numbers up. Uh, number eight is Die Hard at 8.625. Sorry, 8.625. Number seven. Oh, Interstellar is on there. Interstellar, 8.75. Hey. Tied. With Wayne's World, eight point seven five. At five is almost famous. That was at eight point eight. I missed that one. Damn and it. y'all hadn't seen it. Yeah, the week my truck broke down. I was really sure. excited about Probably that maybe, yeah, because yeah. I didn't know that no one had seen it until until yeah. we got here. And number four, Oppenheimer at eight point eight seven five. That is a great movie. I need to watch that again. I feel like number three, Hereditary at nine. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a scary one. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, you should watch it. Do it. I've seen the scene where there's him and his mom like yell at each other, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I No, can but that's like the, the like, one, like, that that's change, barely or, the anything. One where it him out of that's the corner, a like, drop in the fucking bucket yeah. of that movie. You just watch it. Number just two, it. Tropic Thunder at 9.1, and number one, Jurassic Park at yeah. 9.6. It's Man, a solid top 10. I don't know if we're ever going to get past that because I, I have a couple movies, but you know, I know everybody's going right. to be like, mm, no. I feel like I haven't dropped a ten yet. So you have not no. I've only dropped one. It was just forgetting one? Sarah Marshall. Oh yeah, because I said because I was trying. I try to think of it in terms of genres too, and so I was like, this is a 10, 10 out of ten comedy movie. Like yeah. the like this is this is what you want out of a comedy movie. Right. There's a lot to keep track of. By it the is. And I remember when we that. did. I'll tell you what. If I if I had already <laughs> dropped my one a ten. Before we did a league of their own, I probably would have given a league of their own a ten, but sure. I hadn't yet done a ten, and I was like, See, that's a, I was pulling back. I'm like, I'm like you because I'm like, I have a, I definitely have a favorite sports movie. I definitely have a favorite comedy. Like different, fa- yeah, yeah. Like this, I mean, I can't be like this is number. This well, is I also 10. feel like sometimes like, it's mood. Like sometimes yeah, yeah. the week that we watched it, it really hit home for me, yeah. and then sometimes it's like I wasn't in the mood for this, so mm. I might judge it harsher because it wasn't what I was in the mood to watch at that time. Yeah. All right, bring us home with the TV and movie trivia question of the week. This first one, I think, Before is doable. Before you start, I was I three times I've gone to try to take oh no a sip of my wine. Oh it's gone. no, the horror. Someone should get more wine. Maybe two bottles. Maybe two bottles. We got these big cups now. I'm the only one buying it. I'm spending will, a lot of money to we'll, contribute we'll, to we'll y'all's nail drinking down wine. Your sponsorship. Your you're, wine habit. Nail the sponsorship. You're saving down. money now by not having to rent. Movies. Oh. That's really yeah, you are saving. Of, oh, like a handful of just, times. Just saying, just saying. You can cancel live. In which TV show I did Johnny Depp play an undercover cop in high school? Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> this one might be. Well, you, you could see it, Jeter. No, I, no, I, 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 I no, literally. Just I just. Who wrote and directed Pan's Labyrinth? Guillermo del Toro. You are correct. Thank you. Yeah, would never. <laughs> never, ever. You ever never, seen ever. Hellboy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same guy. Um, del Toro. Del, uh, he said that so del Toro. Like, I couldn't even repeat. I was about to say, I could not even repeat Guillermo the name that he said. Por qué? <laughs> There's a show on Netflix that came out right before last Halloween, and it's, uh, fuck, what's it called? Something about, like, stories, and he did, he's, like, producing it. And there's one ah, episode. Ah. 
Um, Something with like a clock. The cabinet, the, yeah, yeah. the, the, the cabinet, cabinets of curiosity, curiosity yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. Did you Where watch it was like a different epi- the, the, each episode yeah. was different. Did yeah, you watch we any it. of it? Liked it. All of it. Yeah. Yep. You remember all the... of all of the series that comes out on Netflix <laughs> that are in that realm. <laughs> You're in it. I watch the the the, the yeah, Haunting at Hill yeah, House, yeah. the Blind that Manor, was a the one. the Usher yeah, House of all. Usher, yep. the fucking what's the Midnight? Oh, f- um, it's all the same guy. They're all so good. They're they're great. And mm-hmm. I like that they were using they were used actors Netflix. in them. Like it's a lot. That's you. the one you don't have. Isn't that weird? Okay. Put all of them on flex. Because I'm telling you. you, do you like that kind of stuff? I need that, drive for survive. Do you like the kind of stuff survive. that like so kind of like horror sus- horror creepy? <laughs> Just give me a list. Thing. We need what? Do you like that kind of stuff like horror creepy? Mm-hmm. But like, I will watch it. Those sh- the shows. The are, last one I watched was Hill good. House Haunting Haunting on Hill House. So the, well, that was the first. That was like the first yeah. series that they really did it with, and then. All the other ones came. Midnight I Mass. I jumped a couple times. That's the other one. Midnight Mass. That one Midnight was Mass fucking... Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... Slow burn. That's not like... Slow burn. Like... And then by the end, you were like, what the fuck is happening? I just don't like demonic stuff. Come on, bro. I'm weird. See, to me, those are the ones that I like because those are the only ones that really creep me out. That's right. why. They're too real. Because you can't but punch a demon But that's face. why. Like, I don't... You can. There are a lot of scary ah, movies that I don't like He's because gone. to me, I'm like... <laughs> yeah. I'm like... Right. Uh, and I think that's what's... I, okay. So back on what I said earlier, like that Wally and I don't like watching things that make us feel like uncomfy. Uncomfy. I think that that's why some of those movies are my scary movie because okay. they make me feel like, Egh, like ick, like. Uh, that's why I don't like it. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. I remember. I watch that. I to this day I remember the first time I ever saw that movie and I cried. Mm. In those first that that ten minutes of where it was just like in, in the beginning of the movie where it was just like the dad and the daughter and the mom and I, I was traumatized within the first ten minutes of that movie, mm. and it's usually those creepy slash paranormal movies that do that, and it's like weird that, that like if I'm looking for a horror movie, those are the ones I go for because if a regular movie, if those movies make me feel icky, I don't want to watch them. Mm. I just like horror in general, so I'm watching any. Anything and everything. Yeah. Like, like slasher like movies don't thriller. get me. See, the like... killer thriller ones don't get me. You ever seen the collection oh. or the collector? No, I see. I keep hitting the next. I want. Oh, you gotta put the tax collector on there. I keep asking about the, the tax collector and which I love. Tax the collector. Oh, yeah. Never heard of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just give me a list, bro. That's oh. not really like. No, it's horror. not spooky at all. No, it's a oh. it's a drama. Anyways, but my was, point. But I keep every because every time I put it in, the collector yeah. is now on my thing because I see him tying his mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the back, dude, do it. Watch it. Back, back. So the collector, then the collection. Oh, then the collecting. Oh. They're actually making a third one now. And then, it's, then it's called the yard sale. <laughs> no, the paranormal movies or any like extraterrestrial movies, those are the ones that gets me. I guess you. I so my, my point aliens. was the episode that they're doing the autopsy, mm-hmm. that fucked with me a little bit. In on this Hill, cabinet on, of uh, curiosities. Great show. It, it Yeah, because well, it, it is like X-Files where like, like every episode is like right. different. But that like whole that. thing. It's like Cold Case Files. No, but, but I that, like that. I like that, that whole concept. thing about what happens in that episode. If you haven't seen it, oh my god, like that was wild, wild. Anyways, next week it's Wally's pick, but he's not here. He did say hold him to some picks Two that movies. he said. Do you remember yeah. what they are? He said. I don't remember. I don't remember. I kind of remember. But I don't because you because he said one if was it's a not, silly one. Wait, hang on. He said if it's not if it's my pick, then I'm going with. Oh my god, it. it's like right it's like right there because I remember being like oh. teeth in the tongue, teeth in the lips. Tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. So as she's remembering, oh, uh, if anybody wants to, you know, subscribe. Have you not? I'm calling him. <laughs> Just text him. I mean, call him. He ain't gonna pick it up. Uh, if he picks it up, I'm gonna be mad because I have to call him all the time in that moment. But I don't, so he might be like, "Oh my god, it's an emergency." He'll probably look at me you like, know what I mean? "My lotion blew in my car. It's an emergency." It's probably emergency. Won't. It probably won't. Emergency. Actually, what I hope happens, I hope Sari answers, so I can be like, "What's up, girl?" He said something about a cartoon, didn't he? Yeah, one's not serious. And one's serious. He named he named two. Yeah. You know he's sleeping right now. I know him. I know, I know, I know your body. I know him. He comes here and literally naps. Before I'll literally, I'll call Sarah right after this. I don't oh, care. Okay, do it. What's your pick? 
Anyways, yeah, if you guys will like what you're listening to or watching, please subscribe. Go on our websites or anything at The Decision Reel, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, X, whatever it is. Do you think? Oh, no. Wireless customer you are calling is not Doesn't even have a real voicemail? Yeah. What a loser. Come on. What a loser. I don't even know what mine is. It's probably like, hey, leave a message. I feel like his pic should be skipped then. <laughs> No, because he already said it. We just don't remember because we have remember. terrible. I, like, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Something. Watch it be like Atlantis, the lost planet. He's. Oh my God. It's going to drive me nuts because I remember. You'll remember it as soon as I hit stop. Yeah. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I, mean, I can check tape. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah, pull up the pull up no. last week. That's oh, just watch the episode. I actually on the really episode. could go on Facebook and just fast forward to the end of the episode where he said. We're not, that. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Anyways, yeah, next week is Wally's pick. We're gonna find out mystery. It'll mystery be a surprise. Movie. Surprise. Awesome. Bye.